Guys, should I trade the 103 for Garrett Wilson? Superflex or 1QB? Superflex. How many starters? It's a start 10, not including kicker or defense, of course. And I'll Who say, your- too, my, my current QBs are Justin Herbert and Geno Smith, and I've got Purdy on the bench. So you're a little queasy about your quarterbacks? Mm. You know what? I'm going to hold the pick. I feel like a deal like this is always going to be on the table at some point, and I know I'm going to be able to pick between whoever my QB2 is, if not the QB1, if someone gets a little cute at the 102. So I'm going to hold the pick based on your quarterback room. Scott or Shane, what do you think? Yeah, I'm Shane. He's Scott. Um, (laughs) I am going to go with – God, I love me some Garrett Wilson, but I'm going to hold on to the 103. Hope someone gets cute at the 102 and takes Anthony Richardson looking at you, Scott, and lets me get C.J. Stroud at 103. Now, if you really wanted to make this difficult, you'd make it Chris Olave, but that's a whole other subject. So, yeah, I'm going to hold and take the quarterback. So I have a couple other picks, too. So I also have the 106 and a 24 first. Would you give the 106 and a 24 first for Garrett Wilson in this format? 12-team, super flex, PPR, start 10? No, not even close. You're about a, a first short on the 103 side. No, not the 103 as well. It's a 106 and 24 first or Garrett Wilson. No, I mean, you're you're a first short on the Garrett Wilson side, which I was putting equivalent to the 103. Oh, I, I don't, I'm, there's no way I'm paying a first to move up three spots. I'll take my chances with that 106. Yeah, I, I listened to the trade offer twice, and I still didn't understand it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna need you to run that <laughs> it, by me again. Shane, buddy. You have to give the 106 uh-huh. and a 24 first uh-huh. for Garrett Wilson and the 103. No, you just made that two, up. Two for one. So I'm giving up the 106 and the 24 first. So it's Jackson Smith and Jigba plus a 24 first for Garrett Wilson. Mm, it's not a great process. Um. But if I can bear it, if I've got the assets to do it, I'll do it if I'm hammer hunting. Look, I'll tell you right now. Okay, look at that trade right now. What would you pay for Justin Jefferson right now? Would you pay a 106 and a 24 first for Justin? But I'm I'm paying I'm paying the freight to speculate on Justin Jefferson. You throw AJ Brown or CD Lamb in that trade, I'm still laughing at it. Okay. So 106 and 24 first, does that get you, Justin Jefferson? Does that even get you a whiff of them? Do you even get a cent? No. no, but I'm not paying an extra first on top of that. So okay. the gap is a first, but you're talking about a totally different tier of receiver. Uh, am I though? I'm just saying sometimes you got You got to have conviction and take a risk, right? Not every time. You don't want to do this all the time. You don't want to just be like, hey, you know, but I feel strongly enough about Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson that I'll go. Yeah, I'm going to do it. And then next year when they're wide receiver three and the wide receiver four and you come knocking, trying to get them off me for three first, I'm going to say, Scott, no. What about I mean, in a uh, go ahead, Scott? I was going to say, if anyone has followed me over the years, that there's never conviction on a player like that where I'm yeah, just going to go pay. It's kind of like when they hit Justin Jefferson range, guess who doesn't have any Justin Jefferson? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a reason that I've sent out 36 offers in the dynasty <laughs> trades in five league and you haven't gotten one of them. <laughs> yeah well i've well, got i've gotten a few how should i feel about that I, well if you want to send me garrett wilson and two first one of them being the 106 for justin jefferson be my guest the 16 teamer i'm probably not going to do that context matters my friend context matters as, as clay destroys his studio yeah clay as, is, uh, as clay not literally knocks down the the lights in his uh in his kitchen what about um what about single qb would you pay the 102 for garrett wilson yes Yes. Yeah, no no question. So you take Garrett Wilson over JSN, Gibbs. Well, yeah, because then it's just a one for one, right? Yeah. In a single QB, this is where you get into the, okay, I don't really value the picks outside of the top five, six, and even four through six is a little shaky. Hell, even three through six could be shaky if you're not sure about Gibbs. So. That's where you'd go. Yeah, I'll send that 105 and 106 for Garrett Wilson in a single QB, especially a lot of single QBs are shallower too. I mean, how often do we see a one QB start 12? Rarely. It's usually one QB start nine. I just fed you a deal where I'm, I'm coloring up for almost no tax. So yeah, totally different. 
Yeah. So kind of the idea behind this show is, you know, context matters. The first question that always comes out of our mouths are, you know, what's the format when we're asked about a trade, right? And we always have to ask how many starters because if it's super shallow, and again, we don't include kicker and defense when we're talking about starters. If it's super shallow, that neuters the value of picks and you want quote unquote, Shane, what's the Hammers. H word? Hammers. 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 No, you want right. sledgehammers. You want sledgehammers. You want nuclear hammers. We want nuclear warhead hammers. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna ram through a bunch of trades tonight, of course, and we're gonna try to look at it through that kind of lens. You know, what what's the context here? Who would want to do this trade? Who would not? Let's start off with Mark Wood, who uh who sent us a super chat here. Traded JT the 23 110, late 24 first for Lamar Jackson. In the 304. Am I a fool? QB room was Tua and Love. Sent in a roster review via email. Love the show. Even Shane as I. I will get back to you on your on your email there, sir. Guys, what do you think? Is he a fool? He gave JT the 110 and a late 24 first for Lamar. No. You you, you plug this in and you say, okay, I basically obtained a Okay, we'll call him elite quarterback. Destination Debbie Ray calls him a BAM quarterback. Basically, get get him when you can quarterback tier. That's what he did. He essentially sold a running back for Lamar Jackson, and he had to send, obviously, the extra first. But he's saying they're late first. What do we always say about the advantage with quarterbacks? The the deal is that you buy them when they're available versus what discount you got on them. He essentially got Lamar for three and a half first here ish and got back a four, or got back a three Oh four, which probably inconsequential in the trade, but Hey, like he was probably the only one available. This was the time he had to pounce. I'd say it's 3.75 first. Uh, that one ten is obviously uh discounted because it's the one ten. And then I'm assuming it's your 24 first and you just said it Lamar Jackson to your quarterback room. Um, and I'd be okay rolling out some combination of two of love as my QB two uh, between the two of them. I think we could patch a decent uh, season together. I wouldn't love it, but I think we could do it. So no, you're not a fool. Um, I, it, that's always been my mantra at least is even if I overpay, I'm going to overpay for one position. It's the quarterback position. So with the amount of starters here even matter, like let's say it's a start nine, would that change anything? And what if it's a start 11? Would that change anything? It's still a good deal across all formats, right? I like it a lot even more in a start nine because um, I need less starters, obviously. Um, in a start 11, I'd be I'd probably grip my teeth a little more and go, but I'd still do it. If we got to start 13, that's where I'd be like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. Um, I really have to think about it. I like it more in the start nine, obviously, but he still does it without giving back a quarterback. So it's kind of like you take this deal when it's on the table, even if it seems like the value is against you. But yeah, I mean, start nine, there's only nine spots. There's only seven spots. The other teams have a chance to catch up with them at quarterback to a Jordan love as your, you know, second quarterback as your platoon. That, that's the advantage. If you can get two elite quarterbacks in a start nine, man, that that's hard to catch up from. If there's a team trying to stream against you or that has two average quarterbacks, they're trying to make up 15, 20 points at least. So it's just hard to do that at receiver or right. running back. Thank you for that super chat, Mark Wood. We've got another one from Ari here. Thank you, Ari. This offer is in his inbox. So let's help him out here. It's a 12 team super flex start eight. Give the 23 111 a 24 first Kirk Cousins. Get Kyler Murray. The context is he's rebuilding and earned the 101. Also has the 103, but no other QBs besides cousin, Cousins, so my 24 will be early. I'm good on this. I like Kyler. I like, I'm, I'm, I'm warming up to buying Kyler a little more and more as we get into the summer, and there's more question marks about what his future is going to be. But I, I'm, I'm wondering, is that 24 first he giving up? Is it his? If it's, so, it I, says, it says, yeah, he uh, says it's early. So that's, that'd be early. Well, yeah, if that's his first, I don't even want to give up my early first in Kirk Cousins for Kyler, let alone the no. two eleven or the one eleven. So I just think this is I get his process. He's trying to figure this is a cheap way to upgrade, and Kyler is the perfect person to have for 
next year, but doesn't it defeat the purpose, Shane, when you're trading away your 24 first at the same time? Yeah, because you're looking at, well, if I just suck this year anyway, which I'm probably going to suck because Kyler's only going to start half the year, right? Um, sure, I could sneak into the playoffs. Like, that could happen, but there's a better chance that I'm not going to be good. I could just not be good and go get Caleb Williams, Drake May, or who's the other quarterbacks? There's like two other quarterbacks that I don't know the names of. Um, I'll know them by then. It doesn't matter. So will everyone else. I, I'd rather do that. And I love Kyler Murray. You know what I mean? I'm buying them in most leagues, but that 24 first, I think the 23, 111 and Kirk Cousins is enough. I'll yeah. throw in a 24 second, but other than that, they're just being, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're being greedy. Yeah, that's, that's definitely heavy by uh, by an early 24 first there. Maybe maybe counter with Kirk in the in the 111. Would you like that? If if that were to if you could get Kyler for that, yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Get some points off the team anyway. Thank you for the super chat, Ari. Appreciate you. We have got 300 people in here. We uh, we missed you guys. It is Wednesday night. Everybody's all thrown off. We missed you guys last night. We had um we had a conflict, and we've got another conflict actually next Tuesday as well. So it's going to be back to back Wednesdays at nine fifteen. We appreciate you. Look down, hit that like if you haven't already and you're enjoying us so far. That's about the most prep we've ever done before a show with our little role play there and what happens, but my light falls off. Um, that that kind of sums it up, right? Um, okay, let's keep on moving here, guys. So Ethan sent us a super chat. Thank you very much. We're going to turn these things off at 945. So super chats are going to be off at 945. Okay, Ethan, thank you. 10 team, start 10, super flex. Half PPR, half tight end premium, so full PPR for tight ends, and there's a first down bonus. Have T Law, Kyler, Danny Dimes, Jimmy G, Mark Andrews, Ingram, London, Christian Watson, Ayuk, DJ Moore, Hollywood, and then at running backs, Monty, Rashad White. Pick wise, he has the 102, 104, and all of his future picks. How does he improve this team using picks? So what should he do with these these picks? He's good. At, you good. You good at quarterback. I mean, he's got dimes and and Jimmy G to to get away with while Kyler's out. It's a ten team, so in theory, it should be a little cheaper to move up and get a better quarterback. But I just don't know if I want to add. What do I add if I get Kyler in the one hundred four in a deal? What can I get with that? Does it get me up into the top? six, seven quarterbacks, probably not, but you can try. I I like the roster other than the running backs. I mean, he's only got a couple running backs. You probably need, I'm fine with like a Montgomery, Rashad White, and a bunch of other bodies, but it just depends on what type of, uh, what type of capital you want to sink into running backs. Cause it feels like you're going to be picking some running backs in this draft or, you know, trying to pivot down off the 102 or 104 so you can fill your running back room. But I think you can win with this team this year. It's just not like an obvious smash favorite. So, I mean, I'd rather hold the 104 and see if I can take Kyler and Danny Dimes and move up into that Deshaun Watson, Lamar Jackson. Uh, who's another guy we like? That guy, Herbert. Here. Herbert. Yeah, Herbert. Yeah, Herbert. Herbert. Um, like, what would that deal look like, Shane? Because it kind of feels like Dimes and Kyler are both fringe, like top 12. So I don't. Like hate having that tandem together along with Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Like the yeah, strength yeah, but... is Kyler and Dimes together. You know, if I'm relying yeah. on one or the other, then I'm a little shaky, but I have them both. So it feels like, like, what's that deal look like? I'm just curious. Uh, for me, I'm literally offering Kyler and Dimes for Deshaun Watson and hoping that that, that the person that has Deshaun Watson it has a weak second quarterback, doesn't have a starter. Like their, their next starter is, I, I don't know. The, someone not good. How about that? Yeah. Someone <laughs> not work. good. So it's That'll just a straight up two for one. Yeah. No, and I'll probably look it's me. So I'll ask for something back on the back end. And if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. And I'll be happy to make that deal. And I'll go, look, yes, you 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 wanted the value. You plug that in the old calculator there and you just smacked me across the face. But guess what? You don't well, you might get to start two of them. But I wasn't starting two of them every week. Not not with T Law. Um, not unless we switched it to a triple flex or a triflex. Although I've been told a triflex isn't what I think it is. Yeah, um, yeah. Not, it's, unless it's not. A, not unless it's a three QB league. Can I start these dudes? Yeah. Can I trade that one oh two for Brees Hall? That's that's what I was thinking, is trading one of those uh the one oh two or the one oh four for a running back. 
for I got them. Brees Hall, I'm not giving you the 102. Uh, you're not getting Brees Hall off of me for the 102. But really, well, it, it, look it, again. It depends Maybe. on the context. It it's, on the yeah, context. it's the context. Context on the matters. Context. Do I now have T. Law and Deshaun Jack, Deshaun Jackson, uh, Deshaun Watson? Because he plays a much better quarterback than Deshaun Jackson. Um, I probably don't give up Brees for the 102. Although I would take Brees for the 102. Yeah, he's got Ooh. some options there with the 102 and the uh, in the 104. And the 104. It's, it's a good team. Yeah, 104. I'm just like, hey, where's J- where's the JT owner? Where's the Saquon? Where's the Christian McCaffrey? Where's the Ken Walker owner? Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay, so let's um let's put up a. All right, so I'm gonna do this. We had some missed super chats. I, I said this uh, in the in the post. How if you super chat, make sure you do a screenshot of them because they disappear. They did. Luckily, I think I got them. I had to make overlays for them. Thank you, Streamyard and YouTube, for being whack and making uh, me have to do this. Can All we right. make that smaller? What? No. Can you make that a little smaller? <laughs> no, I'm not going back into my editor. Get your okay. glasses on, Shane. Um, okay, so it's from Trevor. Thank you, Trevor. 12 team, start 10, super flex, 1.75 tight end premium, PPR for everyone else, six point per pass touchdown. Gave the 104, 106. And Mac Jones for Lamar. Now the contacts context is he has Mahomes, Tua, Andrews, Hawkinson, then lists off some uh, some wide receivers. He's got a couple late firsts this year and a mid 24 first. What do you think? And then at the end, he's asking if he's too far consolidated. No, I mean, you paid a decent price for Lamar Jackson, but still you didn't give up a top three pick. You did give up 104, 106 and one of the most underrated quarterbacks in dynasty and Mac Jones, but too far consolidated. No, because you do have those extra first. You have the one eleven. you have the one twelve. I think you can pencil in a couple receivers there, or maybe a running back and a receiver. And I also think you have the opportunity, especially as the summer goes on, if somehow they don't flirt with any other quarterbacks Tua is the perfect QB three to tear down off of. What can you get? added to Jimmy G to trade Tua. It's, it's tough. You got to find the right manager that's really panicking about one of their QB slots, but Tua is the perfect QB three to pivot down and create some extra value, add another starter, start 10. He can contend with what he has. He doesn't have a lot of depth, but man, Lamar, Mahomes, Andrews, TJ Hawkinson, just ride with those four. Yeah. You can go a long way in this format. Yeah, considering to look up again, not great at math, but four of your starters are going to be absolute monsters. Um I'm just that's Amari Cooper, not Cooper Cup. But yeah, at least four yeah. of your starters are going to be absolute monsters in this format. So that's like what 40% of a roster. Yeah, that's 40% of your roster in a starting 10. Um, so you just need to fill in the other spots. And you've done that with Deontay and Amari Cooper and Sanders. And you got the 112, 111, 24 first you can use to make more moves. So I like this deal. Um, 104, you're taking whatever quarterback falls to you there, right? If yep. you wanted to, to go quarterback, you're going Will Levis or Levi's or, uh, or <laughs> Levis, Anthony Richardson. Levis for the Will Levis, Levis uh, <laughs> or Anthony Richardson. And uh, I don't I don't really feel comfortable drafting either of those guys. So I like this a lot. OK, let's move on to the to the next overlay here. This is Biggie Cheese. And this is Biggie even smaller for Shane. Thank you for the super chat, Biggie Cheese. <laughs> One of three. I can't make the stream tonight due to work, but I can't wait to watch it back. Need help with the 104. It's a 10-team super flex, full PPR, tight end premium. Two of three. It's a start 13. So two running backs, three wide receivers, four flexes. QBs are Lamar, Kyler, Pickett. Running backs are JT, Walker, Najee, Rashad White. A wide receiver, he's got Diggs, Hollywood, uh, Oliver, <laughs> Oliver made it into the, what, what am I missing here? Oh. Oliver, uh, Pittman. Olave. Oh, Olave. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Pittman, Renfro, uh, tight ends, Hawkinson, Everett McBride. I just traded the one Oh seven and three Oh seven for Olave. <laughs> there we go. Do I trade the one Oh four or do I take a QB? Love the show fellas. First ever super chat. Glad it was for trades and five. Thank you, man. Well, with a name like Biggie Cheese, they appreciate the super chat. 
Good only stuff. Biggie Cheese, only Biggie Cheese would be able to trade the 107 and 307 and get Chris Olave, right? Any other avatar get that? Biggie Nobody any, is the illest. And he messed me up when he said Oliver because I'm thinking, oh, Josh, Josh Oliver. Oliver does he, is, does he yeah. count as an asset now? Uh, okay, so 10 teams start 13, equivalent to like a 12 team start 11. So it's actually pretty deep here. Uh, nice to have that many starters in a 10 team, makes it a lot more yep. legitimate. Depth matters. Uh, the 307 is actually what uh, ends up being the 303. Mm-hmm. So those those thirds actually matter a little bit more here too. The seconds matter more because the player pool is just pushed up by two spots every round. Hmm. 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 One hundred four. I think you got to go I, quarterback, right? In a ten team, you're you're hurting with Kyler and Kenny Pickett, probably. Yeah. So the question becomes back just to the question we had a couple minutes ago. What I think he has enough skill players to get by in this deep of a league, but what would you be willing to add to Kyler to go? Would you be willing to add that 104 to Kyler to get a better quarterback in no. a 10 team here? No, no, I didn't think so. Okay, so there's 130 starters. Did I do the math correctly? Oh, hanging out. Yes, with you, you did. You did really help me out here. Crushing 30 it. starters versus usually 120 is what we're dealing with. Um, I did that math right. right? Yeah, I did that math right. I don't know. I'm not going to do it. But the problem is, is he doesn't have another. Well, he's got Pickett. You know what? No, I'm going to. I'm fine holding that pick and Kyler. I don't want to put that much at those many assets in the one one spot. Yeah, I'd be trying to get rid of one of those uh, one of those running backs. I know it's start thirteen, but if anybody in this world likes Najee Harris anymore, you know, tacking on Najee to that one hundred four. Yeah, but the it, the thing is, it's it's thirteen starters, so you have you don't have to have as many good names within that starting tier as you think. Like Najee is a guy you can go. All right, I'm just going to start Najee every week. I think. The real savvy move here would be, can I create extra value by moving off of Jonathan Taylor or Kenneth Walker? Shane might not agree with that, but I'm already a little overloaded at running back. I don't know what the rest of his roster looks like. I assume if he's roster constructed right, he's got a lot more running backs. I, I'm i okay moving off of like Ken Walker. Can I do a two for one for Ken Walker? Can I get another receiver and a first for Kenneth Walker? Mm-hmm. In a start 13, I'll be willing to do that because whatever receiver I'm getting, call it, I don't know, call it like Devontae Smith and a first for Ken Walker. Devontae Smith's going right in my lineup. The first is being used for something else. You know, this would be the format. Start 11 in a 12 team, start 13 in a 10 team where I'm going, okay, I'm okay doing the two for one. But he's he's not getting a two for one for Hollywood Brown. You know, it's got he's going to have to move one of the players that he doesn't want to move, probably a running back, and you just rely on Najee. Because you said it, Clay, Najee's – if you have Najee on this team, you're stuck with him. You're stuck. Yep. Yeah. So maybe try to get get some uh, get some assets elsewhere, and and then with that 104, maybe just take a QB. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. Saw, I saw someone mention in the chat maybe try to just trade Pickett and Kyler um, for a better QB. I, I'd be okay with that too, but I'd, I'd got to get something back with the QB just because of the amount of starters. <clears throat> um, I actually yep. this is one of the few leagues I like having three reputable uh quarterback <laughs> all right let's go ahead you you have to it's a 10 team every team yeah. probably has three qbs so you have to kind of look at your three qbs and say i'd rather have a lesser strong trio than i would the two elites and nothing else because everyone in your league probably has two qbs having a jared goff or kirk cousins here that's dime a dozen it's not helping yep. you at all so pick it doesn't really even count Okay, we got two more of these, and then no, I can uh, then I can be done with the uh, with the overlays. No, we don't have a Mac Jones. We got a T Bone Jones here. Uh, okay, thank you for the super chat, T Bone. So one of two, twelve team super flex start ten. Just traded Kyler, and a twenty five first, which Shane now recognizes at a year as a year. I didn't know if you knew that yet. Um, well, going off the Gregorian calendar. Yeah, um, yeah, we now recognize that as it's, a year. it's now recognized as a year. Um, so traded Kyler and a 25 first for T Law and the 310. How did I do? QB room is now Mahomes, T Law, and Daniel Jones. Where to from here? 
So what do you think about that? Um, and then I'll read the next part. Look, I, I, I do recognize that 2025 is a year. Um, I also recognize that that's uh, several, well, two years away, a couple years away. I could get that 25 first back. Did you overpay for T-Law? Probably, but you've got plenty of time to get a 25 first back. So yeah, I, I'm fine with that deal. Um, and you got a 310 back. I always like just getting a little extra on the back end. You know, it makes you feel better. It's like, well, I can do something with this. I can combine it with something and make it more something. Yeah, T-Bone Jones is either in the airline, banking, or uh, car industry because he got bailed out by somebody with this trade, giving him T-Law. <laughs> all he had to give up was the 25 first. He sends all the risk to the other team. And now you created a T-Law, Patrick Mahomes, QB room. Yep. I mean, that, that that's a dream. That That is the minimum tax you have to pay to get out of Kyler and move up two tiers at quarterback. And if it's his own 20, if it's his own 25 first, like, I don't even care what else I have. If I have T-Law and Patrick Mahomes, yeah. I'm going to have a floor of not being the 101. You know, I'm going to be probably at least outside the top three. Well, if you look at the uh, the two of two, he's got a very strong team. So he's got A.J. Brown, yeah. Diggs, D.K. Metcalf, Drake London, Pittman, Hopkins, R.B., Saquon, Henry, Swift, Mixon. He's got Kittle, Hawkinson. He's got the 101 and the 107. And he says no first in 24 or 25. Well, well, yeah, I, I would hope not with a roster like that. Otherwise, who are you playing with? I mean, bro, like somebody looked at his team and go, man, I got to get that guy's 25 first. You know, yeah, like, let me right? let me give him all of the well, let me give him all the risk at quarterback. Yeah. Oh, and so here's what here's the thinking on that. Right. He so might age out like you look gonna, at his team. Everyone's going to age out like digs. Uh, he's not aging. Out. Hopkins. He's, he's, he's fine. Hear me out. He's this is next level thinking. He's thinking Diggs, Hopkins, Saquon, Henry, and Mixon all going to age out. 23 is their last productive yeah, so year. So he's going to go from 24. championship to garbage with Mahomes. Right. And he's going to run it back. Law at he's going to yeah. run it back with all the old <laughs> running backs because he's going to go, we can do one more year and then go 0 and 13. It. This, it, Jones is going to yeah, mop the league with this. Uh, well, with this and here's the next, years. here's the next level move take some of this excess and turn it into a couple future picks because it's a start 10. And what did he name in the skill player list? At least 12 starting assets plus the 101 plus the 107 plus the two QBs. I mean, this is a team I'm going, okay, what three pieces can I find a fish in my league to buy to give me the future first? And I'm still going to be the favorite. Can I sell DeAndre Swift for a 24 first to a team that doesn't know where they're at? you've just gotten the 24 first back. So you've insulated yourself for another year or two. Yeah, exactly. Thievery. Thievery. Okay. So I just turned the super chats off and um, we've got one more overlay here. This is the bill Willichex. Um sent us a super chat that disappeared before the stream, but thank you very much. If you had a super chat disappear that we end up not answering tonight, email it to dynasty trades and five at gmail.com with missed super chat you donkeys in the subject line and we'll we'll put it on an overlay and get it uh, i know i'm the only one who's, forward who's those to those. shane yeah. so he can yeah, respond yeah. to them all <laughs> shane is the worst and you guys miss my super chat okay um this one is 12 team super flex start 10 ppr tight end premium qbs are kyler dak danny dimes mac jones jimmy g Nice little, nice little room there, it seems like. Um, running backs, Breeze, Javante, Ramondre, Amon Ra, Garrett Wilson, Devontae Smith, Traylon Burks. And then at tight end, he's got Andrews and Gesicki. Also have the 101 and my 24 first. What would you do here to win? Well, I want to just acknowledge this. I'm, pl I'm pretty sure like five straight questions have had Kyler Murray in them. So I don't know what it is with Kyler tonight, but he's popping Lots up. Lots of Kyler. Single Lots yes. of Daniel Dimes. Yep. Yeah. Listen, you got the 101 here. You know me. I'm fine with, can I trade Javante Williams for a future asset or at least maneuver the Javante Williams share plus, I don't know, something else to move around and, and add extra assets. I'm adding Bijan to this team unless Shane tells me otherwise. But, I mean, Bijan, Brees, Javante, Ramondre Stevenson, I'm, I probably have too much equity built up at running back, but what are you going to do? Trade away Brees Hall, trade away Ramondre. Maybe you add for a quarterback upgrade. You got a bunch of running backs. Can you send somebody, Ramondre Stevenson and Kyler, and you know, go to the manager from the last league for Trevor Lawrence? He would definitely accept that. 
So I, I think that's how you would approach it. Too much equity in running back, but otherwise he's got a really good team. You're going to be in contention to win. You don't need to even consider moving your 24 first until later. I mean, I, we're far enough into the stream where I can say, like, just don't fuck up. I mean, <laughs> yeah, trade Javante um, to anyone in your league that thinks he's going to be a uh, valuable asset. Um, I'd look to cash out high on Ramondre Stevenson, too, but that's just me. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to draft Bijan because, duh. Um, and then your wide receivers, Amon Ra, Garrett Wilson, Devonta. I, yeah, I'm in love with that. Um, maybe again, we can look at the quarterback room and go, all right, can I put Kyler and Mac together and send that to Scott? Cause he loves Mac Jones and steal his better quarterback. Then can I go ahead and take Dak, jo Dak Prescott and Daniel Jones to another person and take their <laughs> better quarterback. And my quarterback room is now better quarterback, better quarterback and Jimmy J plus all the other stuff I already have. <laughs> yeah, Shane's gonna do all of that at quarterback. Just, <laughs> just as freaking Rain Man over there. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's move this one out. We'll put our regular overlay on. Ah, we're back to normal here. Oh, oh, I know. So sweet. I missed you. So another thing I wanted to mention too. Um, and we'll put up uh, we'll put up his now. Man, we got a lot started, huh? Okay, you guys. Uh, I've got a hard stop at ten twenty ish. We we'll better start answering. What's, what's a hard stop right? at 10, 20 ish? Hard and ish doesn't really go together, right? But um, so you guys can hang and, and smash some super chats here. Um, okay. So this one was from Professor Charlie T. And we'll answer this. Thanks for the super chat, Charlie. But he is also being very generous. He hit us up after the last stream and was like, hey, he's gotten a couple of roster reviews from us. And he's like, hey, I'd like to buy a roster review for someone in the community. He's That's like, awesome. yeah, awesome. Pay it forward. He's like, I know there's some, you know, we got a bunch of college kids who are, you know, quote unquote broke, can't afford one of our roster of views. So Charlie like wants to kids, look college kids should sell drugs. There's really a lot of money made <laughs> selling drugs in college, but whatever. <laughs> so anyway, so Charlie wants to, uh, wants to give away a roster of you, um, which is kick ass. So we have a, we have a giveaway tool in StreamYard, and I'm going to go ahead and get the hashtag going for that. And I'll remind as we go through, and then at the end, we'll do the drawing and, and somebody is going to get a free, uh, free roster of you. So if you type in hashtag roster in all lowercase, so hashtag roster. You only have to type it in one time, and you'll be entered into the uh, entered into the drawing, and we'll uh, we'll we'll do the full on drawing later in the show. Okay. What if Dynasty Trades in Five wins the the drawing because you typed it in the chat? Then we're giving two away. <laughs> you guys have to do two. Um, okay, so let's answer Charlie's question. If you don't learn from history, you are doomed to repeat it. Is his hashtag? This is a question for all three of you guys individually. What was the biggest ma mistake you made in the pre NFL draft portion of the dynasty football season? I got one. I drafted Marvin Mims at one eleven in a start, uh, not a startup draft in a rookie draft. Uh, absolutely no need for that. Just because I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be after the NFL draft. Someone that's drafted in the first round. He's not now. I got, I got, I got a little excited. I, I let my, uh, I let it loose a little, a little early. I, uh, I pre, pre drafted, um, or uh, whatever that premature. Is. Yeah, I prematurely <laughs> drafted. Him. Yeah, premature <laughs> draft draftulation there. I shouldn't have done that. I probably could have just held on until the middle of the second round. You know what I mean? Um, but I just got so excited. I'm like, oh, he's going to be a first round pick by the time the NFL draft falls around. That it just, I just, I just, I just let it, let it go too soon. I thought you were going to say Malik Willis 101. That's oh, an all time. That's that's mine. Well, that's but that's a bunch of people made that mistake. So uh, before the NFL draft, thousands of people made that mistake. Hundreds of thousands. There's legions of people that just quit playing fantasy football because they did that. Yeah, fair enough. So that's, you're, that's, you're, that's yours mine. is your your Malik Willis 101. Yeah, yeah. It, it, the, in the Dynasty Trades in Five uh, auction listener league. I had the 101 and wait, no, maybe it was the regular trades and five listener league had the 101 and 102. And we had our rookie draft before the NFL draft. I took Malik Willis and, and Brees Hall. So 
we are rebuilding, retooling. Scott, what about you? Uh, I mean, to shorten this answer, I think for me, it's been just being a little too sure of where I think the tiers are going to be. A lot of my analysis pre-draft is this is how the NFL draft is going to go down. This is how we should be slotting the players. This is the tier break. That's the tier break. Like this player is going to go here. This player is going to go there. I probably underestimated the amount of variance that we haven't thought that could take place. And then every year after the draft, you go, wow, I'd never saw that coming, but I probably should have. And I traded all these picks out of this tier. You know, I, I'm the kind of person because I play in a portfolio. I play in 50 leagues. I'm looking at like, okay, every pick I have 109 and 110. I'm trying to move right now. But then what if I look back and there's a bunch of spots where I go, damn it, I wish I had that 109. And now I'm trying to get back in it during the draft and the person's going, now nah, I'm good. You know, like it's, it's not even that I can't buy it. It's just the barrier to entry is now it's been closed. The person at the 109 isn't an easy person to trade with, or, you know, they're not active leading up to the draft. And it's like, they're not really responding until red went on the clock. So you just can't get back in the draft. And maybe I should have waited a little longer and, and let the variance on the tiers play out. Okay. And we've got a lot of uh, entries already into the, uh, the free roster of you drawing again, just do hashtag roster in all lowercase um, to get in on that. Okay. Let's uh, let's move to this one. Phil, Mike, thank you for the super chat. 12 team super flex half PPR start 10. The league champ offered 24 first 307 and Gibson for Pickens and the 202. He only has Mahomes and Brady at QB, RB2s, Godwin, Diggs, Hawk, and no 23 first. Uh, can, can you hit accept immediately? I mean, I see why he's hesitant because it's the league champs, but he was obviously relying on the Tom Brady-Godwin connection. Doesn't have any other 23 capitals, so I'm guessing he's, he's trying to get in to this 202 and Pickens just to fill out the depth on his team. So let's so, let's say it's going to be a mid. Let's say it's going to be a mid twenty four first. I mean, he's got Mahomes, so it's hard to bet on a Mahomes team being at the very, very, very bottom unless he were to get injured. But I'm okay with it. I'm I'm okay with it. I'm I not like as absolute hammer as Shane, but yeah, I'm okay with it. I like it a whole bunch. I would do this deal. Look, if it's a mid first, which is what I would count on, mid to late, I'm fine with it. To be quite honest. With you. It, and funny thing is half PPR Gibson and Pickens are not as far off as like the optics would say they are mm -hmm. like Gibson's probably a guy I would be willing to pay a mid second for and Pickens and half PPR like shit, we would smash a first for Pickens and in a half PPR oh, he goodness, goes down yeah. even further. So yeah, I, I like the deal. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. Thank you, Phil. Mike. appreciate you. Let's go to, uh, to Logan. Thank you for the super sticker 10 team one QB start eight. I send the 107, 108, 201 for ETN. Uh, yes, it's a equivalent to uh, what chain here? Do the math for me. What's 10 times 8 teams, divided by 12? And a half. 80 divided by 12 gives you, that doesn't go even, so it's not a real number. Yes, Clay nailed it. I was I was testing you, but Clay hit it. It's about 6.5, so uh, yes, g give me the best player. Yeah, smash that dude. Um, I'd even give him another second just for funsies. Like it was good doing business with you. Here's a two twelve, just just for being you. Okay, and then what if it were a twelve team super flex start ten? Would you give the one hundred seven, one hundred eight, and two hundred one for ETN? No, not uh, a chance. Yeah, the crystal ball says unlikely, sir. Yeah. So there you go, man. I mean, it's just the importance of format. It's uh, it's so underrated. I love when I when I post TikToks and Instagrams and stuff and uh, whatever you call those reels, and people ask a question and it says like start ten or you know start nine. It's like ah, there's a good chance that they are uh, a trades in five listener. So I always try to answer those ones. Okay, alrighty. So let's go to uh, let's go to Ty. This is one of your boys, right? Right, Scott. Ty declare one on Ty. What's up, Ty? Thank you for the super chat, man. Happy Not Tuesday, Dynasty Trades and Five fam. Much love from Halifax. Post startup, looking to get my QB room right before filling out the rest of my roster. Drafted using Scott's Best Ball Roster Construction Series. It's a 12 team best ball, start 12, roster of 30. Two quarterbacks, PPR. 0.75 tight end premium. It's also a 0.2 point per carry. 
um, and a 0.5 for receiving first down. Roster is Hertz, Jimmy G. At running back, has got Brees, AK, Jamal, uh, Pacheco, Gibson, and Foreman. At wide receiver, Hollywood, Deontay, Lazard, Gabe Davis, and seven, any wide receiver in four wide sets. <laughs> the three, that's good. And then three of three is plus eight tight end platoon. Uh, featuring Jawan Johnson. He's got the 104, 107, 109, 112, full complement of 24 and 25 picks, and he has an extra 24 first. Now his question is, should he trade the 104, 107, 109, and 112 for Burrow? At what point is it too much in a deeper best ball? A lot here, and I think the first thing that stood mm -hmm. out to me was it's a start 12, there's premium at multiple positions, Yep. I don't think I can trade, even though it's the 112, I don't know if I can trade four firsts for Burrow. But if you did it, if you did a deal like that, it has to be a quarterback. The one thing I'll say, I'll let Shane chime in, chime in after this, is given that it's point per carry, given that it's best ball, one of the biggest takeaways for me, because I'm still learning best ball. Like I'm just building my best ball portfolio this year. I think the biggest thing that I have to adjust to is – two things. He mentioned the running backs. A lot of times we look at this running back room and go, okay, the running back room is fine. But in a best ball, you really don't have the ability to roster every running back living or breathing on the back end of your roster. Cause that's a lot of zeros, right? Mm -hmm. So like you need an, as many running backs as you can get, even in a start 12 that are within that top 50 ish. Cause once you go beyond that, you're getting to running backs that are just posting zeros every week which is why he put the any wide, any wide receiver in four wide sets like yep. in best ball could fire. So you know what? He's got a lot of assets. It's a start 12, a bunch of premiums. I, I think I probably just roll with those draft picks. I try to buy a QB cheaper. Maybe I go, can I get Daniel Jones for that 107 and 112? I'd rather do that than pay all four of them for one guy, even if it's Burrow. Like if I'm doing four, it's probably got to be like Mahomes level, and I don't think anybody's accepting that. So you're not going to like this because no one has when I spit this take out. I'll throw the 109 at Jordan Love and take my chances with that um, and see what happens. Or did he have a 112 tip? Yeah, 112. he's got um, 109, 112. Because okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to get Jordan Love with just the 109 uh, in, a two, in a two QB. I, I don't know, but I'll start with the 112 and then see if I can get him with the 109. I think you could. Um, it obviously depends on, on who's, who's rostering him, but a lot of people really, really don't like Jordan Love, really don't like him. And I think at that cost, the risk is worth it, as opposed to like Scott was saying, giving up all those assets and a best ball with all those premiums for one quarterback that's not Patrick Mahomes. And if you can buy a Jordan Love, then you can draft one at 104, and now you have a stable of four, mm -hmm. but. I don't think your stable of four is super secure because it is Jordan Love and it's a rookie, but you have four. So if you're a little weak, kind of feels like even in best ball, you want to have four quarterbacks because mm. you, you never, you want to have multiple shots to rotate into that QB two spot outside of Hertz. So I actually like what you're saying, Shane, to buy a quarterback with one pick. I'd even do the one Oh seven. Mm. In this case, I'd probably rather have Jordan Love over Will Levis potentially, but I'm drafting a quarterback at one Oh four. So I'm okay with that. I just need to get two more quarterbacks rather than pay everything for one. Yep. Okay. Thanks for that question. Thanks for the super chat, Ty. You laid it out all nicely for us too. Good, um, yeah, Ty's yeah. beard is impressive. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is that Canada? Is Halifax in Canada? He lives in Canada, dude. Like you got to have a beard. Otherwise yeah, your face freezes. Yeah. Isn't there also Halifax in like Virginia? It's Nova Girls Scotia. Oh, there is that as well. There yeah. is a Halifax, Virginia. Yes. Maybe he's yeah. not a Canadian at all, but that beard looks he's, Canadian. Yeah, he's it looks like a Canadian, Canadian beard. Looks like a Canadian beard. Okay. Um, I saw one in here. This. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I see a hilarious. Uh, only liking this because Shane's parents told me to. Yeah, hit the like if you wouldn't mind. We have four hundred people in here on a, on a Wednesday, even though we're normally a Tuesday. So every. Lots of people still came and, uh, and showed up for, for our Wednesday. We appreciate you guys with, with kick-ass viewership. Okay, let's um, let's keep going here. We've got a lot of supers to go through. Uh, Matthew Lane, thank you very much. Traded the 205 and Ritter for Geno Smith. Did I give too much? Only other QB is Hertz and Tom Brady. 
Superflex, 12 team, start eight. Feel like I have enough to compete. I, I got to just say this. Isn't it funny how we mentioned Tom Brady as still like he's, he exists? People list him as one of their quarterbacks, and it's like he's retired. Yeah. No he one could, believes that he's actually retired. It, no it isn't. Like, but Antonio you, I, like, Brown is still on rosters. And, well, no, but it's just yeah. like who, who, who's in your quarterback room, and people always list Tom Brady. It's like I'm, I'm holding him on my team. Just in case he comes back, but no, to Matthew's question, I'm okay paying the 205 and uh, then Ritter for Geno Smith. You're you're buying the risk, you're, you're you're selling the risk to the other person that you don't hit a starter. If you don't have a starter in Ritter, then you're you're dead in a start eight. Yeah, I mean, it, there's not a lot. There, he's not much riskier than Geno Smith, except that we've seen Geno Smith have one good year, right? But Geno Smith can turn right back into a pumpkin next year. Um, that said, the cost of 205 and Ritter is cheap enough that I, I'm fine doing that. It's only start eight. You know, I'm not going to ever probably start that 205. Um, so I'm fine with this deal. Obviously, I would have, and I'm assuming you did because you knew your quarterback room. I would have poked around, mm-hmm. see what else I could have done, maybe using those assets. But I have a feeling you already did, knowing what your quarterback room is and the fact that you mentioned Tom Brady, like he's still, uh, still around. <laughs> Uh, so equity loan had a question traded the 105 and 107 today for Chris Olave too much. Well, what's the context, right? I, if it's super flex, I know it's too much because I can probably draft JSN at 105 and then I can get a 24 first for the 107. And if you tell me it's Chris Olave for JSN and a 24 first, it's obvious. Now, if this is a one QB start eight versus a 12 team start 11, major difference so i definitely it's too much if it's our typical standard format what if it's a one qb start 10 half ppr one qb i'd smash that i'd break my computer i'd pick it up and sm- throw it against the wall so that it hit accept it's not how computers work but that's what i will do <laughs> yeah one qb you could say it's it's an okay deal but super flex no just if you if you have work to do in super flex you're gonna have to probably draft jsn you hope you can get him and you have to end up turning the 24 or the 107 into a 24 for, I don't want to draft Will Levis with the 107 and say, look, I got Will Levis and JSN for Chris Olave, but I like the value on that. Side. I would, I would, I would just try to get a second back out of this person. And then I would do it. Cause Chris Olave is that dude. Yeah. Hey, looks from wrong on him. I'll be very, de- very despondent. So, so apparently, look at this name, Dick destroyer 69. <laughs> As a uh, as apparently you left a super chat last week. Yeah, I I definitely yeah so, got erased somehow. Yeah, did did YouTube erase it? Dick Destroyer sixty nine. Um, how does half point per? Thank you if you super chatted by the way. How does uh point five points for first down uh rushing and receiving affect the market on QBs in a ten team start eleven super flex? Still full PPR as well. Does positional scarcity still drive QBs up? Hmm. So it's a 0.5 for first downs for rushing and receiving. I mean, I was just saying the positional scarcity doesn't necessarily drive QBs up that much because if it's rushing QBs that you're banking on the extra points, like there's going to be some, but that could be nullified by, you know, what is the passing points or what is the interceptions? And then it's a 10 team. So, I mean, it still doesn't drive the scarcity up to a point where it's going to mean you're going to want to prefer certain quarterbacks, but I don't have it in front of me, but I'm guessing if you look at quarterbacks and rushing first downs, it wasn't that consequential. Maybe an extra 20 points for the players that are heavy rushers, but not enough to where I'm saying like on a per game basis. I'm going to prefer those guys anyway if it's like a four-point passing touchdown league, and I'm also going to prefer them in a 10 team as well because I'm looking for difference makers. I'm not necessarily wanting mm-hmm. to buy into the the low-end QB1s either. Maybe if he wants to expand a little bit more what the other settings are, uh, that we could do a little bit of a, some math and get back to them next time. Sorry for missing the super chat. I'll do the math. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here we go. You're in good, you're in good hands, Dick Destroyer 69. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. So let's do um we have an inbox off from Garrett. Thank you for the super chat. Uh one of two. 12 team half PPR start 10. My 1.5. Okay. The 105 Lance and a 24 first for the 101 and 111. 
Yeah, it's Hertz, Herbert, Chase, Jefferson, AJ Brown, DK, Mandrews, favored to win. Uh, need running back. Uh, counter offer? Well, what do you think of this first off? Okay. 105, Lance, 24 first for the 101 and 111. I mean, you just added Bijan to Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, AJ Brown, Jalen Hurts, and Justin Herbert, and Mark Andrews. And you said you're the favorite, and they're adding you the RB1 and Dynasty, and you're getting a 111 back. Yeah. 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 You did. You did. You did really good here. Um, Well, well, let's let's see what this let's see what this says here. So, counter offer question mark. Future firsts are lotteries. My 24 first will have two balls of 34 to win the 101. That's how I won the league and still got the 105 this year. Thoughts on how much this offer leans either way? Yeah, you got you only got two balls. I like to see them I like to see them better. If you have more than two balls, there's a problem, clearly. Um, go see a doctor. But uh, yeah, I like it even more now, but I liked it anyway. Like, even if it yeah. was like, that's your earned first and they were getting it. Cause I'm mm-hmm. like, sure. You could have the one Oh nine. Um, but no, yeah, I, I like this. And with the, just the two balls, I like it even better. And maybe you try to sell that one eleven to somebody for a yeah. 24 first and maybe you get exactly. lucky and that becomes the one Oh one. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's go to a uh, mark here. One of two, 10 team super flex, half PPR, start 10. Quarterbacks are Herbert, Burrow, Jimmy G, Brock Purdy. Running backs, Brees Hall, Jonathan Taylor, Cam Akers. Wide receivers, Higgins, DJ Moore, Devontae Smith, and Pittman. Tight ends are Fryermuth, Dulcich, 101, 102, 103, 110, and three seconds. Then he asks, what's the move? Bijan, Stroud, JSN, and then Hammer running backs with the remaining picks, or Bijan and Sell be 102, 103 on rookie hype after the NFL draft to, for established good players. So we're back at the starting roster here. Ridiculous team. Yeah, his team's ridiculous in a start 10, 10 team. And then, of course, he has the top three picks. So, I mean... He could, get, he, he could use a hammer uh, wide receiver on this on this team, right? I mean, he's got the T Burrow stack, which is nice. Um, but maybe, I mean, I'm guessing Shane is just absolutely dreaming of a Brees Hall, Jonathan Taylor, Bijan Robinson yeah. team. So, I mean, that in a half PPR alone with Burrow and Herbert is is good enough. That's like one of those rosters that would reset the league. Where people would just be like, no, I don't want to play in this league it, anymore. I'm yeah, either. you look at his team and you go, oh, yeah, his team's pretty good. And then you look at his picks and yeah. you go, yeah, he owns half the draft. <laughs> I, I'd be willing to shop the 102 or 103 and move down mm-hmm. if he could pick up another couple of receivers. And then his lineup's ridiculous. I would leverage maybe the 102 or the 103 to somebody that really needs a quarterback. See if you can pick up another receiver and a future first potentially. And then you're just rolling with assets. Like just... What's How your about Garrett Wilson? This? How about Garrett Wilson or the 103? <laughs> Should he it give is. the 103 for Garrett Wilson in something? Uh, Shane would say yes, what but I would noise? say what, what in, was in that a, noise, by the way. Uh, in a half PPR, no, I'm probably not, but I'm looking for a deal where I can move those picks down. But I don't know. Yeah. The, what does Shane yeah. always say? Don't just don't screw it up. You have like literally a ridiculous amount of assets here. Yeah, don't, don't just don't fuck this up, bro. Go get Chris Olave though. Yeah, Chris Olave. That yeah, just, go room. get Shane's favorite players. <laughs> just go get Chris Olave. I mean, players. seriously. So in a league like that, when I'm just stacked, right, and the roster is already built correctly, and I have multiple assets, or I have lots of strong assets. That's where I will start going. You know what? You know who I don't have enough of in my leagues? Chris Olave. I'm gonna get Chris Olave and add him to yeah. this roster. And you know, look, I'll, I'll overpay a smidge, maybe. Um, but don't go crazy. Like here's three first for Chris Olave. So I just posted in the chat um, again, hashtag roster in lowercase. I don't know if that makes a difference on this tool, but that will get you in the drawing for a, uh, for a free roster of you courtesy of professor Charlie. Uh, we've got 109 entries in there. Go ahead and get yours into, and we'll, we'll do that drawing here in a bit. Don't let me forget that guys. For the love of God. Oh, we're going to have to talk March Madness at some point here, which just makes me sick to my stomach when I think about that uh, that tournament that I set up. Jesus. Okay. How Moving on. I, don't, I didn't remember, actually. Oh, oh, dude. So here's what happened. 
So I set it up. As I was setting it up, I changed the settings to, or so I thought I did, to the seed difference bonus, right? So if a 10 seed beats a seven and you call that, you get the three points for calling that upset plus whatever points you get in that round, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I closed the lid on this here computer before it saved it when I tried to turn that settings on. Tourney starts this guy justin johnson or something like that in the in the comments was like uh dude i don't think you turned on the c difference bonus and now you can't retroactively do it so maybe somebody can have a listener league spot if they freaking find out who uh who won but what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait until the tourney's over and hopefully there's a way to be able to look at the brackets and there's 255 in there like it's it's a hot freaking mess but find a way maybe scott's brain can help me out find a way to kind of narrow it down to where i so he's shaking his head it's where i only have to look at 30 manually but anyway if you're interested in in a, in a listener league spot for doing that work <laughs> we'll hook you up for it. Shane, it's the equivalent of starting a dynasty league and then turning off the scoring and putting on like bench points or something like that. And it then the you have worst. to go back and recalculate the entire season. The worst. Because I could be like, oh whoops, you know, like it's just gonna roll like this. But then people would be like, I picked all these upsets. People want the listener league spots, understandably. Yeah. So yeah, the strategy on who you picked would have yeah, changed. Yeah, I'm sure. yeah. No, totally. Yeah. Only. All right. Question for Shane, Pat, or Gino's best Philly cheesesteak. Uh, neither. Both of those cheesesteaks are Ooh. absolute trash. Um, the only time they're good is when you're absolutely blitzed out of your mind and it's 3.30 in the morning and some girl from South Philly is like, you want to go get a cheesesteak? You're like, yes. Only time they're ever good. Their cheese fries are really good, though. Boy, that, so what's, that... the best, what's the best cheesesteak, then? Um, honestly, I don't, uh, there's a place around me, uh, apparently it's really good. Car Carmelo's, uh, I think that's what it's called, but there's a bunch of like local neighborhood ones that are yeah. like phenomenal. Not Patagina's right. no need to go to either of those godforsaken places. Yeah. Whiz wit. They get all, they get all mad at you if you say it wrong. Well, that's the Philly it. IT, the Not Philly hard. IP viewership just spiked right during that like 15 second yeah. clip right there. <laughs> Well, let's let's get off this this Philly talk here. Okay, let's go up to uh, Simon Joseph. Thank you for the super chat, sir. Latest episode of DD on the QB market was great, but more about buying than selling. In startup, I went QB heavy with Lamar, Deshaun, Russ, Mac, Tannehill, uh, plus three. When and how to da, da, da. when and how do I start to move off my QB abundance? So you're saying you got three more quarterbacks on top of that. I doubt I can instantly trade for someone picked rounds before my guys. <laughs> Am I waiting until the season? I have the 23, 105, 107, 108, Ayuk, Jamo, uh, Jones, Kamara, and Penny at running back, Waller at tight end. It's 12 team super flex start 10. Um, and some of my players don't afford me much patience. I see where he's coming from because to get that quarterback room, he probably was in a league that didn't value the quarterbacks outside of the top 10, 15, right? Like there's a reason he ended up with Mac Tannehill and Russell Wilson. I'm guessing plus three means he added three other quarterbacks or he's going just based on he has three extras compared to what he needs potentially i don't know how to decide uh, maybe, for that. maybe uh, i'm i'm thinking three three more so he got like Brissett and you know maybe, maybe. purdy in there or something too yeah i mean part of it is that latest episode he's referring to was the um the show with cody and chase they just dropped and they talked about quarterbacks now Part of the context was you're only going to sell these guys when it makes sense on your roster. He Simon has more motivation to sell one of his quarterbacks. Now the person trading with him probably has more motivation to go. Okay. Well, I know he needs to sell one of them. Maybe we have a chance to get a deal, but I'm not going to go to him desperate, especially if his league faded the quarterbacks in the startup. Why in two months are they going to go back to him begging? So like, you just got to be patient. It may be during the season, but at least, you know, you have access yep. to trade. Don't, don't overestimate how much you think you know the season, what's going to happen in the season. Mm -hmm. Don't trade two of these guys, and then all of a sudden in week six, you're looking for a quarterback. Just play it out. Be patient. Be patient. I know he's he's probably stressing with his roster because it's a little older, but just be patient. You'll get a deal done. He's got some pieces here, 105, 107, 108. He's, he's got, some, got some stuff to work with. 
So here's my question for Shane. Does he draft a quarterback at 105 if uh, Anthony Richardson's sitting there or Bryce Young's sitting there? Would you draft yourself into an even bigger hole knowing your league's market? <sighs> no. No. Go, go back to that quarterback room for a minute. Yeah, of course I unstarred it. Um, yeah, no, Tan- it, it's fine. There was a thousand of them. It's Lamar uh, Watson, Russell Wilson, Tana Matt Hill. Jones, Ryan Tannehill. Yes. No, no. Look, at you, your league's already not going to pay you for what you have. Then I'm just adding more of it. It's like buying ice in Alaska. No one's going to buy it from me. Okay. I love how you come up with like. How do you come up with this shit? My brain's just broken. Yeah. Well, you know, no, it's it's. You're a genius. In mean, your own way. <laughs> okay. The, the next contest hashtag broken brain. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag broken brain. Oh, we should uh we should run that giveaway. Um, especially since I'm gonna have to um get off here in, in a bit. I hear my kid like screaming bloody murder upstairs. He's like, I want a free roster of you. Okay, let's do this drawing. We've got 126 entries. Thank you again to Professor Charlie T for giving out this roster of you. We're going to hit the draw button. It is running, running, running. Let's see who's going to win and the it. the winner is Dynasty Trades in yeah, 5. right. <gasps> the winner is Kevin Played. Kevin Played. I took a screenshot of it. Just like you just like you you'd think it'd be spelled. Kevin Space Played is the winner of Charlie's roster review. So Kevin Plaid. How is Plaid, how is Plaid spelled? P-L-A-I-D? Yes. That's Plaid. A-Y-E-D. Okay, so Plaid. Kevin Plaid. Please uh, send me an email, uh, dynastytradesin5 at gmail.com, saying roster review winner. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll get uh, we'll get to what you need. Let's see here. Okay, I'm looking at another clay. I sent a $20 super chat. Disappeared. Okay. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, let's go to do, 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 this one. Declan Kane to eighth. Whatever, we'll go with that. I like it. Thank you for the super chat. Nice pecs on that avatar. <laughs> Look at that thing. All right, one of two. 12 teams, start nine, super flex, tight end premium. Quarterbacks are Burrow, Lamar, Purdy. Wide receivers, C.D. Lamb, T. Higgins, Amon Ross, St. Brown, Brandon Ayuk, Bateman. Running backs are, is Swift. Tight ends, Njoku, Jelani Woods. And in terms of picks, he's got the 212 and 324 first. Looking to contend this year, any moves you would recommend? Thinking of trading for running backs. Well, yeah, it's, it's less than optimal to have one running back. Um, I will say that like zero RB is a strategy. It's not an actual, like, that's not the goal to have zero RB. So yeah, I'm, I'm fine with trading for running backs, but also CD, T Higgins, ARSB. I mean, really, I, I, I really like your quarterback room and I really like your wide receiver room and I'm fine with Njoku and Jelani Woods. Um, I'd be looking to move one of my first, see if I can get a, a running back for that. Yeah, I think we don't know the full context of his team, but let's say this is 25-man rosters. You should have a lot of running backs on the bench here. Any that you can find, potentially, that could mm-hmm. get touches you want to add, and then you probably have a big move you can make by trading the first for a running back. Pick one at 212, get a bunch of roster spots filled with running backs on your bench, trade for one, roll with what you have. If you... Miss it this year. Guess what? You still have a pretty young and insulated roster with two twenty four first. So good luck. Okay, we'll move that one. And I saw this this missed super chat. It might have been the one that I uh, that I got here. I put it into the banners. Okay, here it is. Hopefully, it was from Jason. This was a missed super. I got an email. Uh, Twelve team super flex PPR start ten two point per uh, tight end reception. Um, that's one way to say it. Two point tight end premium. This was an orphan that he picked up. Quarterbacks, Purdy, Tannehill, running backs, Algier, Connor, wide receivers, Monra, St. Brown, Olave, Dotson, Renfro, and trash cans. Tight ends, Hawkinson, Higby, Chig, Lightly, Likely. Two of three. 103, and then a couple force. No 24 first. I can currently move Amon Ra St. Brown for the 102, or I can move Amon Ra for the 106 and 108. 
<clears throat> should I move him for the 102 and take a QB at 102 and 103 because he's got that 103? Or should he trade Amon Ross St. Brown for the 106 and 108, in which case he could take a QB with his 103 that he already has, maybe Levis at 106, and then running back a wide receiver at 108? It's a lot there. Let's go back to his roster, but essentially he's got this plus the 103. What should he do with a Monra? Uh, so here's here's my initial plan. So I can see why this team was orphaned. Uh, I feel bad for you. The prior owner completely mismanaged this team with a bunch of old players, no quarterbacks, bad roster construction. I'm taking the uh, Amon Ra for 106 and 108. Two PPR tight end leagues. Amon Ra is not worth that much. I'm assuming this might be a... Uh, maybe a safe league potentially because it's two PPR start 10 super flex. If it's not, let me know, but safe leagues, I would take like Michael Mayer is worth as much as Amon Ra, if not worth more. So I'm doing the two for one with where this roster is. I'll draft Michael Mayer. If I have to, I'll draft whatever tight end I want. Cause basically like TJ Hawkinson is worth more than Amon Ross St. Brown. Yep. He's going to score more points. So like the receivers are devalued here. So if you can get two first, like that's the kind of deal I would make the same deal with Chris Olave. I would do what I can to get rid of Brock Purdy, Ryan Tannehill. I mean, you got to start over, but you got to split the most valuable assets you have. And it's probably Olave and Amon Raz where you're starting. So you would you would take the 108 and 106 for Amon Ra. Okay. And not yep. do that Amon Ra for the 102. You would just no. you would just have a lot more work to do because you want to well, split it. Assuming he can potentially move another deal where can he get a 24 for, is this a deal you get your 24 first plus something back for a lave? Like you're going to have to make a big move to get quarterbacks eventually, but do I really want to draft two rookie quarterbacks this year? And then that's all my roster is like, I'd rather start building out getting multiple assets for the few valuable pieces that I have. You have to, otherwise like you just don't have enough on this team. You don't even have enough to sell to build back a draft pick chest. I mean, it's a really, really rough shape. Okay. I'm just typing you guys a message. All right. I am going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to bail. Um, let me get you guys set up. You've got, a, you've got a lot left. Look at, look at Shane. You should have seen Shane's face right there. He's like, Oh, really, bitch? You're going to leave. You're going you're you're to leave right now. We have 74, uh, 74 I got left this. here. You guys right. got this? The, got this. Anybody that remembers Mannequin Chill from two years ago, this is about to get a little crazy. It's uh, going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's totally like going to be fun. Three of these. All right, Clay, you have a good evening, sir. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Thanks, everyone, for joining us tonight. Uh, we will see you next time. Be on the lookout for the uh, 10, 110, not 110, 110 show on, on Friday. See you later. Later. Thanks, guys. Cool. All right. We were talking about the triflex earlier. Uh, apparently, someone's ex husband had three balls and had triplet daughters. That's weird. Very weird. Uh, just real quick on the Philly cheesesteaks. Uh, Phil Zimmerman said Jim's. Uh, yes. And uh, someone else, and I don't know if I started, said Ishka Bibbles. Um, yes. Both are very good. M way better than Pat and Gino's. And Pagano's, too. I forgot Pagano's. There's one in like West Philly. Um, probably a couple other places. All right. Um, now I'm going to read questions. This one's a seven parter. So we're going to go to it. Joe uh, Sedillo says one of three, two different startups, both pre-draft number one, first startup trade at the two Oh seven, the three Oh six, the four Oh seven, the five Oh six, the six Oh seven Whew. for the one Oh four, seven Oh four, eight Oh nine, nine Oh four, 10 Oh nine, then traded away the one Oh four and seven Oh nine for one Oh five and three Oh five. Um, real quick, Scott, can you do some math for me? Is that the same amount of picks on both sides? Uh, it is, but essentially he bought back four rounds of picks that he traded away for one slot. The one Oh four, one Oh someone must've really wanted somebody at one Oh four because they gave up. <laughs> four and a half rounds of startup value to go up one spot. So it makes his original deal look great. A five for five. He's going to end up with two elite quarterbacks. I don't know what they were thinking, Joe, but good job. Like I that would, first I would, trade. I would have done the same thing. Uh, that gives him the 105, 107, 305, and a lot of middle round picks. Almost positive going wide receiver top four. Uh, but open to dropping a few spots, grab another starter pick, and get Watson. Almost positive going 
top wide receiver going top four. I think he's saying that a wide receiver is going in the top four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chaser Jefferson will go in the top four. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, listen, if you go back to my optimal startup strategy, like we still want to accomplish the top nine quarterbacks, two of them. But it sounds like this league might be one of those like wild, wild west leagues where you can do it by continuing to trade down again. So, you know, is there another person that will trade you the 108 or 106 for that 105 for a similar deal that you just did? I mean, there's that. And then there's also you got that free 305. That's the perfect spot to trade back again. Can you get a a fifth or sixth round startup pick and get a 24 first out of it. I was going to say, just, just move back a few rounds and get a first. Hey, listen, bro, go to the dude that just traded you the, the four and a half rounds for one pick. See if you can get his 24 first. He seems like he's a little loose with assets. So go to that yeah. guy. And all right. Second startup. He traded away the 210, 303, 410, 903 for the 109, 509, 604, 1204, then traded the 109, 504, 509, 24 first for 105, 408, 705. I don't like giving up that 24 first. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that deal because for me, 109 is Watson Fields, Lamar. That I'm not adding a first to that to get a, a, a Herbert or Lawrence or Burrow. So I yeah. don't really like that first deal or the second One, deal. 109 is definitely a little out of the range of where we like to draft back or excuse me, trade back up into, because if we're trading back up into that, we understand we're giving up a lot usually to do so. And if I do that, it's because I want my choice of five quarterbacks, not whoever happens to follow me at the uh, ninth spot. Well, so we traded the four picks, right? Two, three, four, and nine for mm -hmm. one, five, six, and 12. I'm fine with that but he traded within the top nine tier. So then he compounded that though, by adding a 24 first just to move up four slots. And I get it. He moved up in the fourth, moved back from one of those fifth to a seventh, but I, that's, that's the opposite of what I want to do. I'm fine. You basically traded away Justin Herbert for Deshaun Watson in a 24 first. No, thanks. I'll just draft the quarterback that's there at 109, especially if it's a loose league where someone takes Chase or Jefferson. Like I'm probably getting my choice of a couple guys. So I don't I don't love this second startup. I don't I like the first deal. I don't like the second deal. We don't like it as much. Not as much. No. All right, I think he's just I think he was asking us just to grade his startup trades. The first one he's he absolutely annihilated the first one. I think he got a little too cute in the second one. I don't like giving up that 24 first. Because now here's the thing: there's a lot of pressure on you when you give up your 24 first and start up. Even if I don't win, I feel a lot better if I've accumulated a couple 24 picks or a couple extra first in a startup. It's like an insurance policy, you know? Like if I think something goes wrong during the season, I'm not sweating it because I didn't really build that I have to win in year one. All right. Just going to share this one. What up, guys? Thanks, Clay and Scott, for the love today and Shane, too, I guess. LOL. Uh, my co-host from Dynasty Intervention. Make sure you check out the show and give it a... Uh, Good dude, up? Gator J. What's up, bro? Yes. Thanks right, right, for the right. scoot. Good host. <laughs> um, let's go back up. Manuel uh, wants to get Devonta Smith, TJ Hawkinson, and Dylan. I have tried already to trade for JJ, CD, Drake, Amara, with no luck. His league is one quarterback, half PPR, 10 teams, start nine. His team, Fields, Love, Geno, Chase, Wilson, Pittman, Judy, Dobbs. He's got Jamal Williams, Khalil Herbert, Pacheco, McCarter. Michael Carter, that makes more sense. Uh, Dulcich, Fant, Cade Otten. His picks got the 104, 108, 203, 204, 304, 44, 224 firsts. He offered... Pitt and Dulcich, 108 and 203. If I have to, is adding Jerry Judy to the trade instead of the 203 to too much to help me uh, and does not help my roster construction? Okay. So he's asking, adding Kyle Pitts, Greg Dulcich, the 108 and the 203 for Devontae Smith, TJ Hawkinson, and AJ Dillon. I mean, what do you even think about that deal? You're getting at the 108, you're getting no, I, the wider. No, I don't care about A.J. Dillon because he doesn't matter. So I'll take the 203 over A.J. Dillon. I'll take Kyle Pitts over T.J. Hawkinson. The 108 and Dulcich is probably not as valuable as Devonta Smith, but in aggregate, 
I think I used that word correctly. Um, I prefer the other side. I don't want to give up uh, Kyle Pitts for this. Yeah, it does feel like kind of a neutral move where he's trying to just be a, a little cute with just picking players that he thinks is developing the perfect team. I I don't think you're getting enough value. No. I think it's just kind of a neutral move. I put it this way. The you were talking about adding Jerry Judy to the 108, Dulcich, the 203, Kyle Pitts. Like we have no clue whether that side might be the more productive side, right, Jane? Yeah. Like Judy Pitts, the 108, 203, whoever you draft there may be more productive than Hawkinson and Devontae Smith. So I think yeah, you're just getting exactly. you're getting a little too cute trying to pick the perfect players. Don't rush it. Yeah, and I definitely didn't even like that deal without adding Judy to it. Adding anything else to it, no, that, that's a very, very hard pass. So definitely uh definitely a hard pass. And Manuel, I guess we'll be getting to your roster review shortly. Yeah, appreciate you, Manuel. Uh did it, you want me to read did, a few? Here's a fun one. How much y'all paying up with the 101 to get Lamar in a 10 team half PPR startup? What'd you say on this one? It's Bijan in a half PPR. Bijan in a half PPR, but it's still Lamar Jackson. He's he's ranked way over the 101 for me. So another starting quarterback. I, I look, I I've tried this. It hasn't worked, but I try something like, hey, you want. Kenny Pickett in the 101 and uh, give me Lamar. Um, start there. That, that's one of the places I would start. Yeah, I mean, it's probably one of those where it, either the other quarterback's going to get the deal done or it's not. I'm guessing the other team may not be interested in a low-end quarterback in a 10 team, but maybe they are. Who knows? But yeah, you got to add something, I would say. And I don't want to add... What's, what's the line? Would you add um, Daniel Jones or is that too much? Daniel Jones is fine. So Daniel Jones in the 101 for Lamar in a 10 team? Yeah, he's gone. Okay. Do it. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. We've got a few more to get through. Uh, this one was fun. He was just making fun of me. Fantasy God. Shane is a dog. He hooked me up with his ex. In return, I hooked him up with my ex. Good to uh, know. Well, that's yeah. productive for the, the Dynasty fans out there. Just, just jumping around. Sorry. Oh. Uh, Here's one from Joe. Crap context. First startup was a 12 team start 10 PPR 0.25 completion. 25. We liked your first deal. We liked the first uh, startup trade trades that you made, Joe. Not a fan of the second ones. Especially in the uh, five point per passing touchdown league. He says it's basic vanilla five point per passing touchdown. Maybe we're a little different but I get a lot of questions about this. And I said it on a couple shows ago on Di destination dynasty. If I have like Deshaun Watson or Lamar Jackson, I don't have any desire to add, to start throwing firsts on top of those guys to go up a tier. I just don't like you may like Justin Herbert better than Deshaun Watson, but I'm not adding significant assets to move. If I have Watson and Lamar, yes, I'm at the bottom of like the, the lowest tier of that top nine. But aren't you just rolling with those and just yeah, those are your quarterbacks? Those, like the mo the most I'll do is I'm like here, here's a, a perfunctory third rounder just because I prefer that guy. But that's all you're getting out of me. N nothing in the true value. And the same is from tier two to tier one. If I have Joe Burrow, I'm not adding a first plus to go get Josh Allen. Like right. I'm rolling with what I have. I'd rather use my picks elsewhere. Versus okay. Are we guaranteeing that Joe Burrow is not as good as Jalen Hurts in a given year? Like it, it's it's not where I want to use my picks. I'm not saying he's better, but it's just not where I want to use my picks. So that's why I'm so adamant about that top nine. A lot of people don't like Lamar. A lot of people don't like Watson. But if I'm in a startup, I'm not moving up and paying. You know what Joe did. So it's not to beat him up again, but just didn't love adding a first to move up four slots there. Boom. Hashtag leverage inbox trade from Sean. I'm not going to try that last name. No. Um, from Sean, uh, leverage, inbox trade, 12 team, super flex, start 10, early 24 first, and McLaurin for Garrett Wilson. Should I take the leverage, which would be the 24 McLaurin side? Yeah. I'm Mr. Leverage. So what do you think here? It's a good process <laughs> deal. I will say that it is a good trade. <laughs> that's, that's not a commitment. <laughs> it's a good process deal. Uh, I would say it's a good deal to make. Doesn't mean <laughs> I would make it. It's a good deal, though. It's a good deal. You should make it. You know, 
but there is a point I, I go, all right, well, I'm going to commit to a player. Um, is Garrett Wilson the guy I want to commit to? Well, yeah, he's probably one of the guys I want to commit to. So I likely wouldn't do this. But if that early 24 first looks like Drake May, Caleb Williams, I'd be absolutely bonkers not to do it. So, you know, look at the team's roster, look what we realistically think that it might turn into, and then go from there. Yeah, that mostly that <clears throat> that deal comes down to truly the evaluation on that first. Only you can decide if that's truly an early or is it – an early that ends up being the 108 and then you're pissed off that you made that deal halfway through the season. JT, uh, John, Jonathan Taylor joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it. 12 team super flex tight end premium start 11. Nice full rebuild. Kyler is his only QB, but he has the 101 and the 104 league always has low trade activity. So he's not confident. He can flip Bijan later. And the guy at 102 is interested. What's the bare minimum you would accept? Bro, I love this question because this is one of those where I think there, there's a disconnect in the community. And this is the perfect roster because it's a rebuild. He only has Kyler. He's not contending with a rebuilder with only Kyler. But it's a start 11, Shane. I know my answer. What's yours, though? What is the minimum? That's what he's asking. What is the minimum? Because I'm guessing this is the only guy that's interested, and he's probably not offering a lot. I... I one so, single uh, second would you do it i'm taking a quarterback at 102 right yep yeah i mean look i i don't have it's a full rebuild i like it it'd be great to draft Bijan and then hope that i can move him later the fact that he says it's a low there's a low trade activity makes me think well no i'm not going to be able to trade him later like i might just get stick stuck with him um stuck Bijan. so if i can get it i, I don't love it but if the, the only offer I'm getting on the board is a second rounder, two second rounders. That's my that's my cutoff. Two second rounders. What about a second and like an early third this year? Three oh two. Fine. Because he may not have two seconds. It might be yeah. only where you only can trade one one round of picks, and it's next year's second. He doesn't have another one. So, I mean, what he might have to pivot. I, in a start eleven, I'd be willing to take like a three oh four or something like that. Yeah. You know, I'll take an early third just to give me another shot at a player because I can might flip that player later on. It makes it makes it tough because he says low activity league. Our our brains are like, give me that three oh four so I can draft somebody to flip. But this doesn't seem like the league where you're going to be able to flip. Yeah, so. and, that, and that's the problem. Like you, you know your league, um, and if they're not going to help you out, well then. You, you're going to have to make the move with who you got to make it with. Yeah, kick out the inactive <clears throat> managers. Ask Shane to join the league. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll trade with you. We'll, we'll yeah. make a deal. Trust me. We'll make a deal. Uh, Danny Varney. $10. No, nope, super chat. Thank you for the super chat. That's what I'm supposed to say. Clay always says thank you. See, I'm not good at hosting this shit. I'm supposed to say thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. <laughs> super flex. Start 10. One PPR. Four point per passing touchdown. Woo. He receives Lamar and DP. Lamar and Damian Pierce. Damian Pierce plus Chark. Albert O. But, nope. Albert O. He sends <laughs> he sends Jimmy G. Stafford, DK, Lazard, Knox. He accepted it, but he doesn't feel like it's a slam dunk. He felt like it was a slam dunk, but he got a lot of hate on it, so he gave up. Jimmy G, Stafford, DK, Lazard, and Knox. He got back Lamar. We think Damian Pierce, DJ Chark, and Albert O. Okay. So when I can remove everything else you got except for Lamar Jackson and still take the trade, then <laughs> I don't know why you're getting hate. You literally got free players on the other side. I, yeah, it, Danny, you did great. Yeah, dude, I, I, I got to be honest with you. DP, I thought was double penetration. I That's why I thought maybe the league was upset. They were like, oh, you can't be doing that for trades in the league. So maybe that was it. But no, nah, did you you won this deal. Don't, don't worry about the haters. Look, geniuses are hated on all the time because people don't understand. Oh, it's DPJ. It's not even Damian Pierce. Fine. I, I don't care. Yeah. Damian Pierce is fine. Or uh, DPJ is fine. It's fine. Yeah, I, I can't. I still can't get. Um, I still can't over. I see the word Varney. I just think Ernest. Okay, shout out to Rockstar One Two Two. One, <laughs> that two, went right over your head, didn't it? <laughs> no, no, no. I remember it. Okay. We we talked about that on one of the roster reviews. 
Rockstar 127 uh 199. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Most in return for Pittman in a super flex start 10. Uh, I mean, back? okay, let me ask you this. We we haven't released the 110 show yet, but we've already obviously recorded it. Mm -hmm. Is Pittman a guy you would hit the re-roll on and take a shot at the 110 if you can get Addison or Zay Flowers? or Because I think he's one of the ones where initially you would have said you'd prefer Pittman. But if you're talking about what receiver has a chance to be in the desirable range, meaning I can sell him and people want him, it's probably yeah. one of those rookies over Pittman, right? That's more the problem with Pittman is I think Pittman – Obviously, he hasn't had good quarterback play. He's had really good um, target share, so you would expect that he's going to improve with a good quarterback. And he's, and he's 25, so, I mean, it, he doesn't have a lot of room for, like, he blows yeah. up and he's worth a lot more, you know? There really isn't a lot of room for growth like that. I might just go ahead and re-roll for Zay Flowers <clears throat> if he's on the board. I will say this. If this is one of those teams where I have a lot of assets and it looks like a computer, computer or competitor, um, I would go a computer. And, I like that one. <laughs> computer. If it's a computer, um, I wouldn't mind giving up the one ten for someone like uh, Michael Pittman. We're gonna let uh, Scott read some questions now because I'm barely speaking English. <laughs> Shade's getting tired. Hey, you unstarred that one. I think I unstarred another one. So you need to go back and find that one. That I, I have no idea who that to. was. What was it? <laughs> I have no clue. Somebody's going to reach out to us next week and say if we missed a super chat. Hopefully, I'm I didn't. sorry. Uh, blame, blame me. Well, there was one in here that uh, I wanted to throw up there because it was a quick one. Uh, here it was. McMar Mr. Marvelous put a 999 super chat just to say he came here to watch Shane do math. Thanks for the wonderful content. Appreciate you, dude. That's the easiest 999 Shane's ever earned. And I never did you ever think you'd make money doing math, Shane? I, I don't I, there's a lot of comments I could make there. I'm just going to move on. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. This one. We'll save this one for clay. He said he sent one at five Oh four PM and it disappeared. So I don't know if you want to uh, mark that down to get back Exodus. to him. Yeah. And then Exodus, do me a favor. Send that email to clay again. And in, in the, what do you call that? In the subject line, be uh, a, a little abrasive and be like, bro, this is like the third time I've sent this. So send them that. Uh, me and Scott and uh, Clay, we have a few times have had this happen where we'll just respond to the email and give you a little an answer there if that works. And if not, we can always make sure we get it on the next week. And I did take a screenshot, so we will make sure we don't forget the name uh, Exodus and the super chat that he sent. We'll definitely get to you next week. Uh, we don't want to take the twenty dollars without answering your question. So if you send it to yep. Clay, he doesn't get it. But email Dynasty Trades in Five at Gmail, and we'll get to you back to you next week. All right, we had a couple long ones in here. I know this gentleman, I believe a gentleman or uh, or female, sent in a question. T Skeeter sent in a couple super chats, a couple blank ones, and I think <laughs> I think was struggling to get the question in. But I believe yeah. this is the question that he followed it up with. Superflex 10 team start 11 half PPR. He's got Deshaun Watson at quarterback, Madison Harris, CH at running back, and then Jamar Chase, Pittman, Baton, and London, Tony, Wandell Robinson, KJ Osborne, and Waller Fryer with the tight end. 101, 103, and a third. Please help. So I don't know where you want to start with this. He sent in another one, I believe. It was I'll the sticker through. again. Yeah, I think he sent in two $10 stickers just to end up answering this. So if you want to fire up another question, we can throw that in there if he's still in the uh, stream. But otherwise, what do you think on this one? Yeah, so I was just going to say, obviously, you know you need a quarterback, right? And your running backs are absolutely dreadful, um, just ridiculously dreadful. So, you know, what? hey, this works out. Bijan at 101 and at 103, uh, Bryce Young or CJ Stroud. Obviously, you can shop the 101. Um, if you want to go the other way and go, hey, is there anyone in this league or maybe the 103? Can I get <clears throat> Deshaun Watson for the 103 plus something else? You know, can I make that happen? Because obviously we'd much prefer, much rather prefer to use the pick um, on a proven quarterback than a rookie. But if worse comes to worse and you can't make deals that are for, you know, someone in that tier, then I'm fine going, all right, Bijan at 101 it is. And then CJ Stroud or Bryce Young at 103. I'd be willing to add one of my tight ends too. 
to the deal. It's half PPR. Yeah. He doesn't mention a tight end premium. I mean, if someone, I don't know what quarterback you can get for the one Oh three, but I think you have to just go down the line and see if you can add, even if you had to add like Darius, Tony or Pat Fryermuth or Darren Waller, like you got to start throwing, throwing darts to see if you can get a QB with that one Oh three. And if you do, yeah. then say you end up getting like Lamar Jackson. Jackson, Watson, Bijan, roll with the rest of my roster. I'm fine in a 10 team. Take a shot. Doesn't mean you're going to win, but your roster construction is getting closer to having a chance to win. So, good question. Hit us up if you have another one because I know he did two, uh, two $10 stickers before he got his question in. Kyle, Kyle Barasa. I believe that's how I would say his last name. Uh, thank you for the super chat. 12 team super flex, start 10. Shady trading is 103, 106, Isaiah Pacheco, Trey Lance, and Sam Howell. For Joseph Burrow, he still has the four and the five, and it would give him Burrow and Hurts, mm. but almost a full rebuild from there. Two twenty-four first, and the one hundred four and the one hundred five. It's a lot, but even even in a rebuild, I like setting this QB room up because I might be able to get to contention a little quicker than I even think. And doesn't it feel like he's trading? I don't want to say spare parts, but doesn't it feel like he, this is the one deal where you might find somebody willing to give you an elite quarterback for five pieces, which is going to be very rare. Yeah. I, I hate giving up the one Oh three, but I can live with giving up the one Oh six Pacheco Lance. I do not care about how you're getting Barrow back. I mean, yeah. Is it a lot? Definitely. But you also have the one Oh four and the one Oh five to get other players to add to, and it might be a full rebuild. That's fine. But you still also have the one Oh four and one Oh five to trade back with. Right. So if you can trade that one Oh four for like the one Oh eight and a second or two, if you can trade it for one Oh four for like one ten and try to sneak in a 24 first and give them a 24 second, something like that works too. So it still leaves you in a room where you have a lot of flexibility to make moves with the other pick. So uh, I'm on board with the trade. Yeah, and you make a good point too, because he now has this QB room. I don't want to punt a year when I have this QB room. So I want to do what I can to split those assets. I'd be willing to split. If someone else views that 24 first as an early one, I'd be willing to split that. You know, like yeah. I'm willing to split the other four assets that I have to see if I can make a little bit of a run. I wouldn't trade all of my picks, but don't give up on the season just because this is your only two starters. You know, just because you have Burrow, Hurts, and a bunch of junk, don't punt because then you're you're, you're going to be a kind of a little annoyed that you wasted another season with those guys. So, take the quarterback when you can get it, though, even on a on a full rebuild roster. All right, we got another one from Penrose. Thank you for the super chat. Another Canadian, uh, best dynasty show out there. Thank you. Love the analysis. Thank you. What are you adding to Kyler and Watson? A lot of Kyler questions tonight. Uh, to get into the Mahomes Allen tier or the Herbert T Law tier in a vacuum, Kyler 102, 105, or Mahomes. So start with that, Shane. Are you giving up that for Mahomes right now? Kyler and Watson? No, Kyler 102 and 105 for Mahomes. <laughs> Kyler versus 105 for Mahomes. Isn't it Mahomes? You take Mahomes at all costs here if you're not giving up another top nine quarterback? The the fact that uh, I'm having this much trouble just not outright dismissing it kind of tells me that I would do it. Um, I love rookie picks. Um, I like Kyler a lot, but we've seen what Mahomes is. The dude just throws for 5,000 yards every year. Um, he, I just did an article on him for something. I don't remember what, but like he averages something ridiculous, like 38 touchdowns a year and like 5,000 <laughs> yards a season. So yeah, I'll, t I'll take my homes here. Okay. So instead of that, would you give up the one Oh two and Kyler to get Herbert or T law? No. One Oh five in Kyler. Yes. I, yeah. To answer his question at the beginning I probably am not paying anything onto Watson to get to Mahomes or Allen unless it is a random future late first. Like that's not where I want to use my extra capital. But Kyler, if you just said, "Hey, I have enough of a team that I can contend, and I can now have Watson and Mahomes," I'm okay rolling with that. But I would try to get the the tier below the Burrow Herbert T Law tier. Can you get that with one less pick? Even if it's the 102, 
I think I would do it for the 102, Shane. I'm fine adding the 102 to Kyler to get Herbert or T Law or Burrow. I don't I don't think I would do it, but you know, look, if someone put that trade in front of me, depending on what my roster looked like, I'm I might do it. But I I, I lean no. I lean no. Okay. All right, let's get this one out of the way. It's quick. Shane, I'm your 17th biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, uh, uh DJ. Yeah, that that's another easiest two dollars Shane's made in a long time. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Ethan put super chat in there. Uh, 12 teams start nine, one and a half tight end premium running backs, Damian Harris, Ken Walker, Latavius Murray and trash. I love how he broke out Latavius Murray. Yeah. Like then, before the trash. And then put trash. It's like Lat- <laughs> Latavius is a step above trash, even though like, he's not on a team and he's like 34 years old. What and, the you know hell what? was the running back after that? And, okay. Pro- yeah. <laughs> they put it. Yeah. They, you're right. There's probably 90 running backs ahead of Latavius and dynasty. So anything below, it's a little scary. It probably stinks really, really bad. Uh, inbox offer. He's got Calvin Ridley, Ken Walker. He gets back. Samaj P Ryan, Jake Ferguson, Cortland Sutton, the one Oh five and a 24 first. And I am smashing that trade. He gets Ridley and Ken Walker. No, he gets the other side. You want Samaj P. Ryan, Jesse Ferguson? I, I, I like. <laughs> I like Samaj P. Ryan. I like okay. Samaj P. Ryan. Okay. I I think this is the type of trade where you are getting rid of your running back equity. I mean, basically, you getting, you're giving up. You're giving up Ken Walker for a twenty three one oh five and a mid twenty four first. P. Ryan, Jesse Ferguson, and Sutton for Ridley. Yeah, yeah, I'd make this deal. I don't know who okay. Ferguson is, but I don't. Jake Ferguson, the Cowboys tight end. You're going to know his name soon when sure, he do- tortures sure. the Eagles coming up. Yeah, but no, yeah, yeah. I look at it as you're basically selling Ken Walker for the chance to draft maybe Jameer Gibbs, but if it's not, it's JSN or it's Anthony Richardson. Yeah, And then you're getting a first, a 24 first and Cortland Sutton for Calvin Ridley. So I think you just take it, and you're getting P. Ryan. I like P. Ryan this year. Like I, he's I the kind of running back you collect, and he's for free, even in a start nine. Like that's where you want to get your free players at running back. So yeah, sure, do it, Ethan. Do it. All right, we got this one from King Gidora. Yes. Gidora. Gidora. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen uh, Godzilla, but uh, in the I believe the eighth iteration of that movie it was godzilla versus king Ghidorah. have not so appreciate you i'm glad you were here as my co-host to clarify that uh yes. two separate trades okay. two separate leagues all right so two trades separate leagues he sent the 104 the 108 and tua for joe burrow in a 12 team start 10 thoughts on that deal i mean i'm fine with it I, 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 but mostly because I have absolutely no faith in uh, Tua. If if I actually like Tua, I probably would have a little bit of a, a bigger issue making this trade. Um, and assuming you're not rebuilding, so I'm fine giving up the 104, 108, and Tua for Barrow. It's a lot. It is a lot. It is the 104, so you're probably not getting your choice of the top three quarterbacks. You're leaving the one that falls to you is going to be there. Yep. Uh, and then the 108, I know we did the 108 episode. It's kind of a dead zone pick, but I think when you cumulatively put that deal in front of people, it, it's going to be easier to pull off when they're the picks. Or if you put Bryce Young, Will Levis, and Tua in that trade, the person may not accept it. So I think you just take the Burrow part and walk away. You got Burrow. You locked it down. Move on to the next day. Uh, another one in a rebuild. He sent the 108, the 206, and Calvin Ridley for the 103. That's an interesting one. If you were in 103 and you were contending and you were trying to get multiple pieces in a trade back for the 103, would this be a deal you'd explore on the other side, getting the 206, 108, and Calvin Ridley for your 103 in a start 11? I'm the contender? No. No, you're the contender that you're getting the three for one no. in a start 11. No, because I'd be trying to get an actual player with that 103 instead of, besides oh. Ridley, obviously, but like now, a top tier player. Okay, so if you're rebuilding, is this a deal you want to give up three pieces for one asset? Because I assume he's chasing a quarterback. Here. I mean, chasing a quarterback, I'm fine with it. Uh, and oh. that's what I assume he's doing, He's he, or she, or they, them, 
it, they're chasing a quarterback. And I, I'm completely fine with that because I'm getting either Bryce Young or CJ Stroud. We just talked about how at the uh, 104, 105, you don't have control over what quarterback you're getting. At least I'm getting one of the top two in this class. So I, I'm good with that. Yeah, on the surface, you're like, man, a three for one for 103, you know, like that it's actually probably the best deal you might get if you're trading back. But if you need a quarterback, sometimes you just got to take that shot and draft one, see what happens. Uh, let's see. And, uh, King was in the messages and he just did say, yes, he needs, he really needs a quarterback. So yeah, we like that deal. Shoot your shot. Good deal. Uh, Schaefer, six, seven, eight, uh, 10 team super flex, start 11. He has Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Trey Lance. James Cook and then trash. I love how everyone uses trash in their running back room when it's literally nobody but you know one name, one or two names. So I love that. Uh, Jamar Chase, Devontae Smith, Jamison Williams, Rashad Bateman, Kadarius Tony, Hawkinson, and then he's got the 101, some later picks, 204, 308, and then no 24 first. What's his next move here? Because a little thin on assets. He only has the 101. Not enough threshold receivers, but he's got the positional advantage at tight end. He's got two elite quarterbacks. He's got, I think Trey Lance would be one of my moves would be move off of Trey Lance for a lesser QB three while he's still holding like first round value. That's probably the spot I can add a little extra value to my team. That's where I would start. What about you? Yeah. I mean, look, I, I'd love to split Bijan here because it's start 11. Uh, or excuse me, split the one Oh one. Like there's any shock. Um, but the problem is, is you're, we've already seen offers. Like you're really probably not going to get an adequate offer for, for the 101. So yeah, I'm going to have to look at other places. Like, can I tear down from Hawkinson to Goddard and get an extra third, you know, something like that. Um, even within the same tier, like Scott was saying, can I move Trey Lance for, who did you say? Mac Jones, someone way below him, right? Mac Jones. Well, so in a 10 team, scarcity is not as much of an issue, right? Because there's only mm -hmm. 10 teams. So a lot of right. teams are going to have three or four quarterbacks, but I have the two elite ones. So I'm not relying on my third QB as much, but I also don't want to carry when I don't have a lot of assets. The one of the places I look for extra assets or extra value is my QB three spot. Can I tear down to the lowest common denominator in that spot? So get off of Trey Lance, get back. I mean, like Ryan Tannehill is like the lowest common denominator. But the point is you want to get basically the value for Trey Lance back and someone gives you a free QB3. So can I get a first and Jimmy G for Trey Lance? It's going to be tough, but that's the type of deal you're looking for. You're looking for a two for one where you still get a quarterback back, but you're adding an extra asset. Now, if you have the extra asset, that's a way to add to the 204, maybe to get something else, add the the asset that you get plus the 204, maybe you get your 24 first back. Like there's a lot of ways to slice it. I you you have too much value in your quarterbacks here and not enough assets overall. So you have to shift them around. So you got to find the right deal. All right. Next one, Gary Smith. He says two parter. When is it worth it to trade for your own first back? If your championship window is closed and you want to start rebuilding is it worth overpaying a bit so you can regain the flexibility and offloading, offloading older assets without inflating the value of that first before you get it back? So we get this question a lot. You talk about this a lot on roster reviews when you have these bad teams and then you look and they traded away all their future picks already. Like you want to you want to kind of signal that you're not gutting your roster until you get that 24 first yeah, back. You, you, first of all, you got to get your first back first before yep. you do anything like just you can't start making moves because you know not people in your league some of them are smart right they're, they're going to see what you're doing and go or they can just look at your roster and go i'm not giving you the what, one, what looks like the 101 now that you've got at your team but you got to get that back so is it worth overpaying a little for yeah yes it is and they may they may even say they see you in the chat talking about rebuilding. You haven't even yeah. started a rebuild yet, but you're you're signaling that you're going to. And all of a sudden, if I'm holding your first, the value of that first just went up 20% because of that comment that you made in the chat. So you almost have to go to that person and acknowledge that, hey, man, like, have you done this before? You go to the person and you acknowledge, I want my first back. I know you have me mm -hmm. basically by the balls. You know, like you can overcharge me to a point where I'm going to still pay it but I almost have to work with you 
because I, I hold all the cards, but there's only so much you can bleed from me if I'm trying to rebuild my team too. I, I, I mean, I specifically did that in the one league we're in together. I forget which league it is, to be honest with you. We're in too many leagues. Um, and I believe it was with uh, the other Scott. I could be wrong, but like I, I went to him and I'm like, look, I'm, I'm going to be awful. I want that one-on-one back. Um, here, That's a DD4, right? Where you traded Trevor Ooh, Lawrence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not for that pick, but yeah. So I ended up giving up like DK Metcalf, uh, another wide receiver, useful wide receiver, and I think a running back. And it's like, dude, go win a championship. Like, you yeah. know, like, yes, I overpaid, but – Honestly, these players, I'm not going to be able to split them up in this league. Uh, there's not as much trading as I'd like, unfortunately, because um, everyone's uh, kind of uh, super sharp in there. Um, so I just did it. I overpaid. I did what I had to do to get the 101, and now I have it. I've tried to move it, but, yeah, no no one's biting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough position to be in when you got to get your first back and everyone knows it, but uh, you almost have to just go directly to that person and say, let's work something out that works for both of you. And a lot of times if they're, if they really, really want to win, they know that they probably have enough that, you know, you can, you can find a deal with them. It's just, you got to both agree. If they, if they just hold it out and say, you know, I want, cause if you're trying to rebuild, you only have so much you can give them. You know what I mean? Like, at some point, it's like, okay, you just keep the first. I, I, I can't deal. You're asking for triple what it's worth. Yeah, I just can't do it. So uh, we had 11 more questions. A couple of them are two-parters. Appreciate everybody hanging in there. Chain, we still have 373 in here. It's past 11 o'clock. I mean, very, very rarely have we gone this far, but we'll knock these out. Uh, we got Darth Dookie sent us a super chat. Uh, appreciate it. 10-team league, start eight. I assume it's uh, super flex, but he didn't say. Uh, but I'm just going to assume it is. If not, clarify if you're still in the chat, uh, Mr. Darth Dukey. Uh Burrow, ETN, Akers, Chase, Alave, JMO, Pat Fryer, Move, Sky Moore. I uh, have three early seconds, two firsts, and a second in 24. Would you be trading? Or would you be trading your? I assume your way into the draft, or would you be trying to trade for a hammer? If so, who? Uh, single QB. I mean, super flex here. It's you probably need another quarterback, but let's just assume it's single QB because he doesn't mention it. I yeah, I mean, he's it, clarified. It's single QB. There's, I, I'd pick my spots. You know, obviously, can I get to the 101? That, that's the obvious hammer, right? Later on in the draft, can I get <clears throat> Zach Charbonnet uh, at 104? What, what do I need to give up to get him or whoever the RB? three is or the RB two even. So 101, 102, 103, all on the board for running back. I don't feel the need to one quarterback lead passing six touchdowns, six point passing touchdowns. Yeah, I definitely don't feel the need to 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 get back into the draft to go get Zay Flowers, JSN, uh, uh Jordan Addison, players like that. If it's to get Bijan, Gibbs, or Zach Charbonnet. I'd be a little more apt to try to get back into it. Okay. So two answers to this. It's obviously a single QB. So your, your quarterback's fine. The definition of a hammer in a 10 team start eight single QB. It's so, so slim. There's maybe what five to 10 players in the whole league that you would consider to be a hammer in this format. Mm -hmm. So like, you know who they are. It's Brees Hall, Jonathan Taylor, Justin Jefferson, probably a couple of the other higher end receivers, maybe Ken Walker. Like there's not a lot, you know, Bijan, there's not a lot of them. So like you literally have to go to them. If you want to get in, you probably have to literally offer everything you have both your first next year. Like if you truly want a hammer, you're probably going to have to go and trade more assets than you think real quick. Shane says he, he did was very generous with 1999 super chat. How would you use your seconds in a league this shallow? knowing how hard it is to hit on an actual startable player. All I mean, running backs? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, nope, good, nope. Good no receivers? No, I'm, not, I'm generally not going to draft wide receivers anyway in the second round of a rookie draft if, if I can help it. Well, it's um, a 10 team, so he may have a, you know, even Jordan still, Addison I, sitting there. You wouldn't do it still? Maybe Jordan Addison or Zay Flowers. Uh, maybe Marvin Mims. So there's like three wide receivers that, you know, I should say that I would take in the second round of this draft. And it um, is one QB. So like the odds that one of those is there is low, but if he has the two Oh two, he might have one shot, but generally, yes, I agree. All running backs. 
and you just hope they're Damian Pierce, you know, where th- yeah. you could get spot starts out of them. And it's really hard to do in a, a 10 team start eight. So appreciate the question, but uh, you're in a tough spot. You literally have to probably send out 50 offers and hopefully you get a fish to bite on that hook. All right, Gary G. Sup, gents. What's Trey Lance's current value? 10, 12 teams start eight. Picked up an orphan. He has no QBs. Is he worth an early to mid 24 first? No. Yes. I, and I, I would I would sell him for any first. Oh, yeah. But, sell him. Yes. I'm not paying what looks to be an early first for him. We talked about this on, I think, the 110 show we just did whenever Clay drops that. But like, I'm okay moving the 110, 111 from this class for Trey Lance. Like, I know what the pick is. I'm really not trying to move a 24 pick that I don't know where it's going to land. You know, if that pick ends up being anywhere in the top seven, I'm going to really not like life. Um, but I'm willing to give up like a 111, 112. Especially in a start eight, I would be okay kind of holding out for a first. But because here's the thing if I'm stuck with Lance in a start eight, would be the league I'd be more hopeful of his potential impact. Start 11, start. 10 or more, I'm okay just taking the liquidation of the pick. So good question, Gary. Trey Lance is one we uh, – doesn't it feel like we get a lot of rosters that have Trey Lance and Kyler Murray? Every roster has Trey Lance or Kyler Murray. I forget what the tight end was. There was a time where it was literally everyone – might have been Pat Fryermuth, but everyone rostered Pat Fryermuth. Yep. All right, Mike Silha sent us a super chat to 10 Team Start 9. Superflex traded the 107, a 24 first, and Derek Carr. For Justin Herbert. I'm okay uh, with it. I like it. Uh, I like it a lot. Especially assuming he made the finals last year. The 24 first is late. The 107 is the Will Levis dead zone. Right. And, and, and Carr, it, Carr is fine as your QB3, but... Well, it's a start nine, right. too. So the upgrade at quarterback squeezes out the other positions even more. So exactly. great trade. Good job, Mike. All right. A couple more here. We got... Eight more, and one of them is a follow-up from uh, T. Skeeter from before, so we'll get to that one last. Drampian. Shane, what is uh, what is A799, or is that Drampian A? That looks weird to me. But uh, I believe that is... Uh, I can't think. It's too late. I Ant- can't think Antarctic any, dollars. Yeah, I can't think of any countries that start with the letter A. Like, there's a million in my brain, <laughs> and I can't, I can't name one of them right now. Well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, we'll just add it up and count it for what it is. His picture looks like it's uh, cold wherever he is. So, so maybe, it is it's, maybe it's Antarctica. It's Alaska. It's Alaska money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 12 teams start eight. And he says half PPR, non-tight end premium. He has Josh Allen, Kenny Pickett, Jamison Williams, George Pickens, DK Metcalf, Wandale Robinson, Curtis Samuel. Khalil Herbert, Joe Mixon, B Rob, Chiggy, and Cole Komet. And then we don't have Drampians number two, Shane. You want to go no. dig for that one? What time was that? <laughs> it was 9 36 p.m. I'll look for it too. I got it. I'll hit another one while we're uh we're waiting for the second part of that one. All right, some brown guy, 999 super chat. Thank you. Yo guys create content. Any moves I can make here. 12 team, full PPR, half point tight end premium. Don't know if it's super flex, but I assume it is because he's got a bunch of quarterbacks. He's got a he's got a comment after that, too, if you look. Uh yep, I got it. Yep, league is super flex, by the way. Cool. Thank you. All right. Fields, Lance, and Purdy. So another team with Trey Lance. Uh, Eckler, CMC, Jacobs, Saquon, Monty, Cam Akers. My goodness. Nice running back room there. Uh, Tyree Kill, C.D. Lamb, Christian Kirk, Drake, London, Traylon Burks, Brandon Ayuk, Romeo Dobbs, Kelsey McBride, Ferguson, and three 24 first. Just making sure this is a 12 team because this is a pretty stacked roster. Uh, I think the clear hole here is that Lance Purdy. That's not super encouraging, but he's freaking stacked everywhere else. I mean, what type of trades are you sending out here? I assume you're dipping into those running backs trying to get a quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, look, at Eckler, if I can move him. <sighs> Either CMC or just Saquon's going, too. Like, I'm not I'm not going to have both of those guys on my roster. But either way, I'm definitely going to be looking to make a move. Like, I wonder what Lance and CMC could get me at quarterback. I'm trading a risky quarterback, and I know he's great. He's still an aging running back. Um, I, I, That's probably what I would look to do. 
Yeah, I mean, listen, you probably – he's got an Eagles hat on too, Shane, by the way. So fly, fellow Eagles, Eagles fan, looks like. I Yeah, for me, I know it's – I know it's a team you're probably looking to just smash everybody with all these running backs. You have a lot of risk with your running backs here. You're carrying basically five running backs, not counting Cam Akers, who also is risky too because he was literally almost like out of the league. You have five running backs that are at least 25 years or older. They're at least in their fourth or long or further out year, actually fifth or further out year. So all second contract running backs – be creative, man. Like you got Lance, you got Purdy, you got all these running backs. You got three twenty four first, even Trey McBride. Since you have Kelsey, I mean, I like the Kelsey McBride tight end room, but you got so many assets. You literally probably need to send out twenty twenty five trades. Yep. Fish for all the top end quarterbacks. Everybody except for Fields. Be sending out multiple offers. This is this is one where Shane would literally send to each manager like five variations of the same trade, and see if they. Yeah anybody responds with some sort of counter that gives him Trevor Lawrence or Justin, and then he's just probably accepting it with all the assets you have. Yeah, Not sure. probably worth haggling. So appreciate the question. Did we find the second part for Drampian or no? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I did it. Yeah, we did. All right. So the first part again, this was his team, 12 teams start eight non tight end premium. So Alan Pickett, there's his roster. And then the second part Boom. So is his a one QB? Uh, do, 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 do. Forgot to mention in my QB. Yeah, it's one QB. Yep. Okay. So one QB. He's got all these picks in one QB. He's contemplating either trading the 108 to go into the 24 first or the 108 to the move to the 105. So we just finished our 110 video, right? Yes. How how rough does one QB start to get when you get to like the 107, 108? You're like, I don't, you're I, starting I to pick Tajay Spears and we uh, were arguing Devon A chain, A chain and uh, Tajay Spears, I believe. Um, which you and know, we were in Josh Downs, Marvin Mims range of uh, yeah, you know. yeah, we're we're definitely getting there. So 108 plus to 105. What's the plus? Like literally the 202 and the 206. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I would start with the 206 and then try the 202. And then if they still say no, the 202 and the 206. And Drampian, listen, it's a it's a start eight. So your threshold of what's going to matter here is very, very high. So if you can find somebody that's willing to give you multiple assets or multiple, they're taking multiple assets for one, it, it's almost always going to be a plus EV move to do that. So I'd be willing to add multiple things to the 108 to get up into that 105 range. And then you're probably just drafting based on pedigree. Jordan Addison, Quentin Johnston, Zach Charbonnet, whoever lands there. But I, I feel safer being stuck with the 105 because I guarantee there's going to be a first round player that's worth taking versus 108 could be completely ugly. So that's the strategy. That That's every move. It's not just this trade. It's every move you should be looking to move up. Call her up and do a higher quality asset because it's such a shallow league. Uh, all right. Had a couple more. Mike throwing another super chat. 199. Christian Watson and Kadarius Tony or Chris Alave? Oh my God, Alave. <laughs> Smash, bro. And it's start a and nine. it's a start nine ten team. So extremely shallow. I don't I just don't see the logic of why you'd even send that offer for the other side. No, I mean, get, go get Alave. I hope that you're getting the Alave side. Yep. couple more. Actually, one more. And then we got, uh, let's do T. Skeeter's follow-up. This was from earlier. He he sent the second uh, super chat and didn't get to him. He didn't know if he could trade the 103 and get some future ones next year or remain in the rebuild and get in on the Caleb Williams sweepstakes. How, how do you feel when you're moving potentially off of a higher-end pick this year trying to play for next year when you're in a complete rebuild. Like I know you're because I, the NFL looks at it the same way. You see the analysis, all oh, the Colts shouldn't draft a quarterback because they can get Caleb Williams next year. But it, it it's probably, you're probably overestimating your odds of actually being in the spot to get the one Oh one or one Oh two next year. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I, I, that's the problem, right? I know I have the one Oh three right now. So if it's a complete teardown, you know what I mean? You can look at a roster. If it's a complete teardown, it's I'm starting it, not just Jimmy G. Like I'm starting Carson Wentz and Jacoby Brissett and Baker Mayfield. 
all right, I, I'm fine kicking the can. And it's got to be multiple picks I'm getting back. Um, but the thing is, is if it's not, I, it's not mine, right? So I already have mine, I'm assuming, if I'm willing to make this deal. So, I yeah, unless I can find the team that is starting Carson Wentz and Baker Mayfield at quarterback, something like that, I'm not going to make the move. And I'm just not going to do it. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's a tough one because I think we uh, we we really think we're going to be in perfect position, and then if one thing goes wrong and you end up with the 103 next year, you're like, man, I, I wish I would have just trusted that process and drafted the quarterback this year instead of just betting I was going to be in the spot. Because the other thing we're starting to see, we saw it this year with Bijan, we're going to see it next year with Caleb. It's actually hard to tank because there's usually two or three other people in the league that are trying to do it too. So you might gut your roster to the bottom and you're like, damn, I'm 0 and 9 and there's another 0 and 9 team and they're they have 100 less points than me. Like you had that in one of our listener leagues. Yeah. You and you and another team were both like 0 4. Mm -hmm. And I think you ended up playing in like week 14 or something and it was like you you ended up winning, quote unquote, but I mean you lost, but the point was like if you would have won that game, you ruined the 101. And yeah. <laughs> your team was as bad as I've seen, but he could have, you know, not set a lineup that week, or you could have got lucky and beat him, you know, 70 yeah. to 60. And oh. up there goes your one oh one plan. So exactly. Yep. All right. Last one. Coltrane two parter. He says coming out of a rebuild, he's gotten good hauls for the one Oh one and the one Oh two. The problem was he had built his team for Bijan given the running back values at the moment. Which RB1 is a good bet to produce at cost? 12 team Superflex start nine. Have Watson, Tua, Lance, Mack, Dobbins, Akers, Madison, Herbert, AJ Brown, Smitty, London. There's his team. Two first and 24 and 25. He has the 109 through the 112. Man, I don't know what he got for Bijan or the 102, but would this be a 12 team start nine? Would this have been a team you would have kept Bijan? Uh, yeah. I would have liked to keep Bijan here, but yeah. what running back can he buy that can produce? I mean, Derrick Henry for one of those late yeah. first. We've talked about this before. I love targeting Derrick Henry here, Dalvin Cook, uh, Joe Mixon, a little less than those guys, maybe with the one twelve. DeAndre Swift is another guy I'm trying to buy with late round first pick, first rounders if I can, if not a second. Um, really, anyone in that range. My number one option would be Derrick Henry, but that's just because I think he's a freak of nature, literally. But him, Dalvin Cook, Joe Mixon, DeAndre Josh Smith. Jacobs in there for you? Josh Jacobs. Yeah, if you can get Josh Jacobs for the 109, that's a smash. I think because you have those four picks, what I would do is I'd be willing to kick one of those picks to the future, and then I would also be willing to move one of them for a running back. And it still gives you two of them that you can either pick or trade up with, whatever. But it's a start nine. So it's nice to have those four first, but the probably what you don't want to do is just draft four rookies there. Yeah. Feels like you're leaving some meat on the bone. So, all right, man. Sorry we didn't get to a lot of the questions in the chat. We've had to kind of like not ignore the chat, but we haven't been able to pull any questions from the chat just because we got bombarded tonight and then Clay had to step away. So we had to kind of, uh, carry the late carry the load for the last half hour but uh what you thinking you feeling good i want to go to sleep um oh, yeah i can't <laughs> wait to, honest. I, I i can't wait to do this next week again i'm going to do uh fantasy dynasty intervention an hour before this show or for an hour before this show and then uh, we'll come back and do another two hours but uh now nah, man truly appreciate everybody uh stopped and watched us i can't speak english yeah, man. It's almost 1130 Eastern. We still have 358 in here. A bunch of people saying thank you in the chat. It's We miss Clay when he's not here because like Shane and I are kind of like the color analysts where we can host stuff, but not Clay's well. just so much better at, yeah. you know, sending things to one of us or the other and, you know, knowing when to interject and knowing when to stay quiet. So the show's not the same with, without Clay. We probably okay. need to, uh, make sure clay gets extra permission next week to go a little longer. Yeah. Or get Just, the kids some Benadryl. I don't know. Something. <laughs> yeah. What is this kids doing up past 11 o'clock anyway? Ridiculous. Like, don't don't kids go to bed like at, you know, six o'clock. Every kid I, I know is in bed by like seven. So uh, my kids are usually up till like at least 11, but whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah, a bunch of good comments in the chat. Appreciate everybody still being here. We'll be back next Wednesday, 9-15. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get uh, the same type of crowd as we had tonight. We'll make sure Clay gets permission to stay longer. Uh, mannequin Chill. You got 45 minutes of Mannequin Chill here. Uh, maybe we'll get some more Mannequin Chill in the future. Who knows? But uh, let us know if you need anything from us in the next week, and we'll sign off till next week.